Today we're going to find out why it's important to have a very high-end gaming computer. We need to survive for as long as possible on this island with this naked man. Don't mind him, he's just being a little shy. So one thing we can do uh, every day is take a coconut from the tree. And then aside from that, we've got to keep an eye on all our levels. So one thing we don't have currently are logs. Logs are naturally found in the ocean near the sharks. Now the trick is you don't want to click near the sharks because they'll kill you. But there's the first of many logs to come. And that brings us to day two, one day survived already. Pretty much an expert. Now we could use uh, the logs to stoke our fire or we could start building a house of some kind, which we want to. So one log is going to our little home. Home. 36% done. He'll be much happier once he does that. Uh, I should collect more logs before adding them on though because I didn't realize it takes an entire day to add a log to my TP. You think clothing would be a priority but obviously it's not. Not when you look this good. But uh, since all of our levels are pretty good today let's see if we can find some more logs. Let's be very careful about the sharks. Uh, so if they're too close you can actually lure them away by splashing as I found out the hard way. But it's very much not worth risking it. Uh, if you're near a shark because you'll die instantly if you screw this up. Three logs though. If we could get three logs every day we would be in very good shape. That brings us to day three. His spirits are still very high. Our fish levels are getting low aka food so we're gonna try and get some fish today. Oh we got a big one down there too. I'm gonna aim for the big orange one if I can time this right. Hopefully I can. Got him. Seven kilos. It's a whopper. Which brings us to day four, but our food levels are full. Uh, for water, unfortunately, we need it to rain. It's not raining yet, so that might be a little bit luck reliant. And um, since everything else is going perfectly well, let's just collect logs and hopefully it rains tomorrow. This is pretty bad shark spawning. I'm going to try and lure them all up, but I think I can also sneak that one out at least. I'm allowed to leave at any point if I don't want to get greedy. I'm just really greedy. Day five, it's raining and that's good because look at our water levels. Give me the coconut, give me the water in the coconut, and we'll see how much we actually get. One coconut full, two coconuts full, 2.4 liters. Uh, our fire is looking a little sad too, so is our rest. So we're going to do fire today, then rest tomorrow. Uh, how many logs do we want to put on this fire? I guess till it's full. Yeah, fire fully stoked, then we don't have to worry about that for a while. Today though, we're definitely going to need some sleep. And on sleep days, we can actually play these fun games for different rewards. Don't ask me how that's a reality, it just is. We dream things into existence. So on this one, we just gotta spam, uh, click as much as we can to get whatever we can, which is pretty much everything, hopefully. Looks like we're gonna succeed. We're fully rested and got a few items. We got an achievement for lazy bones, apparently. Not sure what that means, but all our levels are good. Today is a good day. Give me those logs. Okay, these are good shark spawns because I don't really have to do anything and there's three easy logs. Raining today and we leveled up. And we're slowly collecting these coins along the way. I'm not entirely sure what they do, but I do want to see what the bomb does. Plus, there may or may not be some kind of crafting system. I'm not entirely sure yet. I know when I put stuff together before, sometimes it makes like one of those, which is a dream where I can make new weapons. I already have lots of weapons, so I don't know why I'd bother. I think my log count is also full, if I'm seeing this correctly, so we're gonna add some logs to our house today. Or maybe we're not, because he doesn't seem to want to. I guess we'll just find more logs then, which is as easy as that. Day 9, it's raining again. And maybe because it's raining, that's why we can't add logs to anything. Okay, it's day 10, and we had a log wash up naturally, which doesn't happen very often. We do have a few things going on, so we're going to fix that hunger problem first. We're going to try and catch the big fishy over there. Uh-oh. Do I get another spear? Oh, I do get another spear. Oh, I didn't know this, how this worked. How about the poison fish? No. Nope. Okay, my aim is not getting any better with practice for some reason. There's a big fish down below. Got him. 6.5 kilos. That's a big one. I assume bigger is better because that's usually the case with everything. Today we're going to stoke our fire because we have lots of logs to stoke it with. I thought we did at least. Would also kind of like to um, finish our house, but I guess for now we'll settle for water because it's raining and we'll just take advantage of the rain, which definitely makes us full again. Uh, we're going to rest today because we need the rest. I guess I'm going to try crate hop today, mostly because I don't know what it is. This is going to be really hard. Well, maybe not actually. I think I see what it said. Tapping over here does a little jump. Tapping over here does a big jump. So we're time to do this. Uh, I'm definitely going to screw this up because this is not as uh, easy as you might think. Or maybe I'm just stupid, which is also very possible. But I'm going to get a lot of stuff for this. Uh, the level hasn't really gotten any harder yet. It's kind of been more of the same. Collecting lots of coins, so that's great. I'm one step closer to explosives. Oops. Which really don't seem like a great idea on an island that's like 8 square meters. 
but that'll be a problem for him. Can we uh, build our house now? Oh, we just had to click on it again. All right, well, I think I might not even have enough logs to finish this now. Do Oh, I complete. I'm probably wasting logs at this point. So day 13, we finally got our house done. So that's fun. Do we build a better one now? Stop drinking water. Well, it's day 13 and we're going strong. So let's get us some more logs. So I think that one's safe. I really don't need to be taking this much risk on these logs, but I did. And we'll put those logs to use eventually on a better house. Uh, it's day 14, everything's going well again, so let's just get more logs. Wow, we had four spawn in here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that last one, because look at all those sharks. Uh, got it. So maybe today we'll restoke the fire, just for the sake of restoking the fire, really. Didn't take more than a few logs anyways. Alright, well, uh, since our house got completed without too much issue, we could do a 35 log one, we could do a 48 log one, or a 65... 74 look at that thing yeah let's try that destroy current hut yeah we don't need that anymore okay so we're gonna throw our logs in there and we have lots already there we're already 18 percent done like we're a fifth of the way there and it's only day 15 so we just can't do anything stupid for a while but he has a dock and everything now so we really shouldn't complain about anything let's get some logs hopefully we get lucky and a bunch wash up oh wilson 500 sp that's actually a ton i think that's enough for a bomb all by itself which we might try and use. Could all the sharks please go away? I would really like this last log. I'm getting greedy again because I need lots. Got it. Oh, so he just joins us here on the island. Good thing we won't go insane then. Uh, it's another beautiful day. Uh, all of our lovers are still pretty good. We'll probably do fish tomorrow and sleep the next day. So for today, let's add logs to our house. We've only got four to add, but four is actually going to add quite a bit. That's up to 23%, almost one quarter of the way there. Day 16, things are still looking pretty good. Is there anything out here to play with? I feel like there might be, I just don't want to scroll that far. The levels still aren't low enough for me to worry about, so we're just going to get more logs again. I never realized I had this stuff down here. Like, what does this do? Oh, it kills the sharks. Oh, so we can just kill them all when we want our logs. That's actually super helpful. Today, we're definitely going to catch some fish, because we definitely need some fish. And I need to stop wasting spears. So we're just going to go ahead and spear him right in the dome fully rested and we got another spear and a free log the fire is getting a little low we could wait a few days let's find some logs today i'm getting way into this and i don't really know why i'm just having a lot of fun with this concept don't think i need to waste anything to kill any sharks today at least hopefully not but i might just for the fun of it uh i'm very nervous to do that because if you misclick you will die and then everything is lost but we didn't have to four free logs which brings us to day 20. Um, everything is still looking pretty good overall. I might top up the water just because it is raining today. And it'd be a shame to miss out. I don't know if this can be long periods of time without rain. I don't want to find out the hard way. There is 2.5 liters of water. Okay, and then today we definitely need to work on our fire. Which shouldn't take more than a few logs, 100%. Day 21, we get a free uh, seashell and starfish. Probably should find some food soon. But we'll chase logs instead. This one's not such a challenge. Two logs, one shark, and a dream. Getting hungry again though. 1.9 kilos of fish left. So let's hopefully find... I'm really tempted to spear that one, but I don't know what that's going to do. I feel like it's probably poisonous, and I don't want poison on my island. There's a 6 kilo fish though. So food-wise, we're in good shape. Sleep we need soon, but we're going to find some logs for today. We'll sleep tomorrow. I'm really try-harding this one. It is a very intense game, though it's pretty much Dark Souls. And we're going to sleep and then hopefully get some new resources because of it on stack attack. Oh, it's just a green bottle, which is still helpful. I'm mostly just here to kill the sheep, to be honest. Okay, we have five spears still, which is lots, lots of shells. I think we can use those to make more spears if we need to. But for today, let's uh, just get more logs. Well, this wasn't the luckiest one I've ever had, but we got a log. And we leveled up. Oh, we unlocked new items. What are you all clothes for? Those are just going to hold us back. This is the perfect <laughs> survival candidate. Since we have an abundance of time and logs, let's add some of those to the fire. It's at 105%. Then we can use the rest of our logs to add on to our massive mansion that's soon to be complete. Well, we're a third of the way there. That means it's, wow, time to try and get some logs. This, I don't want to touch this one because the shark's got a frame there. You know what? We're going to kill the sharks wherever we can, I guess. Uh, I didn't really think this through very well. But we got the three logs, so why don't we get those for food? 
I need a shark. It's a rainy day today, but I need fish. I would like to take advantage of the rain every day I can. I've, whoops, <laughs> forgot to grab the coconut. Okay, I guess we got that fish. Cloudy again, kind of worried about those water levels now. But what can we do? We're going to sleep instead because if it, uh, if it's raining tomorrow, we're going to need water and we wouldn't be able to get sleep. What's he doing? He's a weird guy. Maybe stack attack can get us some water anyway. No, just a bunch of sheep on a stack. So we'll go ahead and there we are. Fully rested now. Give me a rainy day. Perfect. Now we can top up the water, which is good because we would have died without rain today. Fill those coconuts way up. Probably will get almost full because I think we needed that much. We can hold three liters. Okay, we're having a few problems today. The fire is very low and so is our food levels. So let's see if we can spear anything down there would be fine. That's probably going to get us full six kilos. So we pushed a little close with the fire this time. Luckily things worked out. It's day 32. Uh, so each log adds 20% to the fire. So we'll just go 95% for now, saving us a log. A very exciting day 32 and more logs. It's like they're not even trying anymore. Not gonna waste any of my fancy stuff on these idiots, but the sharks are sure to end me eventually when I make a stupid choice. I just really want my house done. So I have to pick up our coconut. This one's a little better in a way. There's a lot of sharks, but there's also a lot of uh, logs. See if I can lure them away just a little bit. I think we'll take that one. I might not get overly greedy here, but I'm getting pretty tired, so I might make a stupid choice. It's been 34 days of surviving on an island, and uh, it doesn't look like he's lost a lot of weight. But I guess that's probably a testament to how good of care I'm taking of him. Okay, we're back to the rain again, day 35. Uh, we're still doing pretty good everywhere except for rest. But rest is just fine. He can sleep there on the ground while we play stack attack and hopefully get something. Yeah, we get a few spears out of this one, so I won't complain at all. And got it all fully rested. Off we go. Day 36 comes with the free log. I was getting a little worried about both my food and fire levels, so let's take care of both of those. Not very big fish this time. Are we going to get bigger fish coming around? There we go. That's a really big fish. So we'll go ahead and uh, miss it entirely, but it's uh, going to go ahead and go up the... Oh, it's gone now. Cool. Well, let's try the poison fish then. Is this good or bad? You can't eat it. Oh. Oh, so we wasted an entire day on that. Okay, we might have just killed ourselves spearing a poison fish. That's not particularly great. Okay, let's spear a fish and not be stupid about it. Okay, we're going to go for big purple there as soon as the other one gets out of the way. Okay, I'm definitely getting tired. I should not be missing these fish. So we're going to go ahead and take that fish because I need any fish at all right now. Six kilos. And I'm still alive somehow. So we're going to uh, fix the fire that's basically out. Uh, there's an 85% fire, good enough for me. Plus two logs on the ground, plus a coconut. Uh, we will need rain again soon for water, but until then, I'm going to continue to put all the logs onto the cabin. Still going to be a little while, but we're 39% of the way there. We would already be there if we just get some lucky levels with lots of logs. One or two at a time is still going to take a while. And I guess we'll just continue grinding through the days, waiting for it to rain again so we can collect water. Is this seriously just a log floating in the water? There's not even any sharks here. Also, I have a problem. Um, it's not raining, but I did manage to get a little bit of water. Okay, it's raining today, so we're going to get water today and sleep tomorrow. I don't know if I could get water on a regular day, but I'm happy that I can. Wow, we got a full three liters of water that time. So we definitely need some rest, which is going to come with some poison in a bottle, which we use to poison the wildlife. Okay, we got a whole bunch of starfish there on the beach. Not that they make a big difference. We got to fix the fire and the food. Let's start with the fire. 70, we'll go 90%. Now he's actually starting to starve. So let's hopefully get him a big fish. Maybe the smaller fish are actually better. They are harder to hit, but usually bigger. Really? That went through its tail. I'm going to go for the purple fish and I missed entirely. I'm clearly running out of coffee because I'm really struggling with the fish. Okay, I hit the yellow one, but I wasted way too many spears doing this. Anyways, day 44, we're going log hunting again. And we found a good one with lots of uh, logs, so we're going to go ahead and move the sharks out of the way because I'm clearly too tired to make good choices. So we're going to murder the sharks. Then I get logs. Day 45, more rain, more logs. Okay, there's five sharks to one log here. I'd way rather have more logs, but we got a free one there. Then today we'll top up the fire. We should only need three logs to do it, up to 90%. And he can rest tomorrow. He's okay still. We don't need to rest that often. He goes for days on end collecting logs and building his hut. So we're going to rest today and then we're going to catch fish tomorrow. 
And we get a free spear out of this, which is great because we're wasting so many on fish. Okay, so the health bar is now back to full, but we do need to collect some fish in a bad way. There's a nice big orange one. Even if I miss, I'll probably hit one of the other ones. Nope. Wow, and I did miss. Okay, that dumb accidentally clicked because I was being impatient and trying to get it just progress to the next screen okay so we're gonna spear that fish and that's good because that was my last spear so we're gonna be just fine let's get some more logs i really want to finish my hut there's a lot of sharks there i'm not gonna work that hard to get this one log because it's only one log if i happen to get a situation great but that's not gonna happen we'll move on i already need water again this guy is so needy basically needs everything in the world except for clothes I think we might be going through resources faster and faster as we get a little further into survival. Seems like we're going through them very quickly on day 52. Okay, since we're running low on food again, let's see if we can spear a single fish. Gonna wait for those two to line up a little bit, just in case I miss. But I got the littler of the fish for 5 kilos. And baby wants to sleep again, so we're gonna let him sleep. Oh, this is a good one though, look at all the spears we're gonna get. That's good, because I was just stressing out about how few spears I have left, so I can't miss fish anymore. And we got two free logs today. Suddenly our luck is getting very good. So let's see if we can collect some more. There's two easy ones and a bottle. So I think today we're going to add to our hut, just so we can make a little progress. I have 11 logs to add. That's actually lots. So now we're 54% done. The fire is getting low again, but not low enough that we can't collect some more logs. I guess we need some logs to be able to add them anyway. Uh, okay, we'll grab that one. And that one. I was skipping ahead a few days because you can only watch me collect logs for so long before it gets old, but I found dynamite in my sleepy time game. So now we get to play with dynamite and find out how that works. But we also need to top up our stupid fire already because it wants to go through wood at an incredible rate suddenly. Since I don't have any options to use the dynamite now, I think it's going to be part of the wood gathering thing. And it sure is, but we'll save that for when there's more sharks. For now, I'll just continue on grinding up wood. It's day 63. We're going for logs. This may be a good test. Look at all the sharks. There's a bomb. And all the sharks are dead. That's going to make log collecting much easier. Except for I also don't have any more dynamite. Day 66. Let's add what logs we have to the hut. We have 10 extra to go, so that's plenty. We are 69% done. Uh, about 69% until the game broke. So that's not great. But I won't lie, it is pretty amusing. We were getting so close. Now we're here frozen forever, staring into that man's eyes. Wait, never mind. It let us load back into where we left off. Okay, so our house now looks like this. I don't know why we chose to build a house like on stilts out in the water. That seems a bit excessive considering we're surviving on a deserted island. But who am I to question anyone's choices? So the logs are very inconsistent. That's what I've learned along the way. Sometimes it feels like we're getting too many of them, sometimes we it's really struggling just to keep up to get enough. But playing the sleepy game again, we're going to get dynamite and spears, so that's going to be a good one. It's day 74, and I've uh, also experimented with the fish. If I spear a little one, you get less food. That makes sense. I just thought you might get more because they're smaller and harder to hit. So we'll do what we've always been doing and aim for the big fish. I'm also going to be really annoyed if I find out I didn't actually need a fire this entire time because I spent a lot of logs keeping that fire going. Because it is a rare rainy day, I'm going to take advantage of the water. There was a lot of sharks out here on this one. Uh, I didn't feel like dealing with all that, so I just threw a dynamite in and killed them all. There's four easy logs, which gives us a total of 10, which we can add to our house, which has got to make it pretty close to done. We're up to 82% done. I don't know how many more logs we need, but we're just about there. Okay, so it's day 96. I have a bit of a problem. I'm very low on water. And my fire is getting bad. So we're going to try and deal with the fire first because it's a slightly bigger problem and that it's lower level. Okay, so the fire is good again. The water level is still bad. It's also not raining, but we got 0.6 liters of water. So that's something. Day 97, I assume it's going to rain tomorrow. So we're going to go ahead and collect more logs. Wow, and it's actually going to give us three of them. We're going to go ahead and throw some poison into the water because I'm not dealing with these idiots. And we killed half the ocean, but we got three logs. It's not raining again, so I guess we're going to take like a little bit of water at a time until we eventually die because we're spending all our time. There we go. Uh, we're also out of food the day it's raining and we need sleep really bad. So this is actually kind of falling apart on us. But we'll go ahead and take whatever that one is. Five kilos. And it's officially day 100 and we leveled up. Uh, I guess we'll go for sleep and hope we're not going to run out of water. 
Okay, we didn't run out of water, but we're awfully close. Really need a rainy day so I could take advantage of actual moisture, though today seems to be strangely good for water, so I'll take that. And that, of course, happened the day before it started raining anyway, but the fire is actually, like, dead. But it is nice to know just how low levels can get before they're going to be a problem. Still haven't finished the house, but we're getting close. Okay, I'm going to add seven more logs to this thing. Uh, every log gives it about a percent, because we're up to 92%, so should be one more adding of logs till our mansion on the water is done. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened. I was happily fishing. Apparently I ran out of energy. I'm pretty sure I was okay though. Or maybe not. I'm really tired. We got to 120 days. I needed like seven more logs. But that's fine. We did pretty good for a naked man on an island. Here we go again. 44 evolutions to get through, starting with this idiot. And we're gonna get there today. I don't care how long it takes. I spent four and a half hours last night trying to do just this. Couldn't do it, so here we are trying again. Also used a few little bonus codes to get myself some experience bonus, so these early levels at least are going to go faster than ever. For now we're a bee. We can eat a few of the other animals, but I'm in a hurry. We're mostly going to mess with people once I'm strong enough to mess with people. That experience is going up so much faster than it was last night. I wish I knew that was a thing. And yeah, I could have started a few evolutions in, but I wanted to go through every single one of these to make it as painful as possible. I mean, we're already up to pigeon anyway, which is really terrifying because everything wants to and can eat the pigeon. Also the same with the duck. Every time I see a duck, I can't help but try and eat it. I don't know why, I just have the urge to eat the duck. The bluebird is a bit of a fun one because it's got the dive bomb ability, so if I happen to see a fly, I'm gonna dive bomb on it, but I'm also not gonna get killed by these things. I did enough of that yesterday. We found ourselves a fly, so I just gotta be sure to land on it, and I missed entirely. But you know what, I might still get it. Flies don't care about dying because they're so early on anyway. The bluebird turns into the Fruit Loops bird. I don't know why I found that so exciting. I still can't really eat anything worthwhile. Unfortunately, that turns into whatever this is, a stork. So I can't eat very many things, but I do eat frogs, so that's actually a lucky find. Which also turns into the creatively named Redbird, which can eat mosquitoes. And I think we're all after this one mosquito. And... Oh, I tried to dive bomb him. And now I'm one of these, a pelican. I might have to go deep sea diving, but if I can get away with eating frogs, I will, because I'm super lazy. There we go. As a turkey, I do have a few options at my disposal. Apparently every once in a while when I hit the ground, I have a chance to find a worm, which is something, but actually they can eat snakes. Maybe we should go eat some snakes. That is exactly how birds fly. Couldn't be more realistic. Very first snake. Had to fly a long ways over for this, so it definitely wasn't worth it. Even if it levels me up all the way, that wasn't worth it. Well, it got me two thirds of the way there, so at least that's something. And we've become the bat, which I'm pretty sure his power is night vision. You have full vision in the dark, which is helpful. I'm not sure what those two are fighting about, but I'll go ahead and take that from you guys. Thank you. And we're one of these now. Oh, this is the underwater bird. I remember this. It's all about pretending you're a fish while not being eaten by the sharks. And I do really like this one, mostly because you get left alone. There's nothing really that can eat you except for the sharks, and they're very predictable. No other players really come down here. And if they can, they can eat you. I made the same mistake again. I did this last time. I evolved into the next bird while I was way down deep. This bird doesn't like to be underwater very much. Pretty limited food options, but there are a few creatures we can eat, so I'm definitely going to go for those every chance I get. Just to be annoying. I evolved at the perfect time. The parrot ran into me as I evolved. Oh no, and I think he's going to get away now. Oh, get him! Get the parrot! No, he's gone. But the wasp is a lot of fun because it's one of the first creatures where you really can't hit a lot of things. And I think I have a 1 in 3 or 1 in 4 chance to poison things. 1 in 4 chance to poison them. So once I hit them, they panic. And it's not even a big deal to me whether or not they live from that point. I just want to annoy them. Still not really a capable build for killing things, so we're going to move on. I'm no... this bird that can only eat dead fish. Nobody ever said vultures were exciting. I'm just going to keep flying to the left until I find fish. And I literally leveled up after one. Okay, what do we eat now? We eat mice, we eat frogs, we eat all sorts of things. We eat parrots. I would kind of like to eat a parrot. And I actually got one. Not sure if I hit record in time, but that happened quick. Oh no, it died coincidentally next to me. Oh, get away from that. As a simple owl, we have a 10% chance to do critical damage and 50% chance to deal critical damage to food. That means things I hit, they're in for a rough time. Like this duck. Got him. Not critical, but I hit him. Guys, I have a chance to defeat the coronavirus. I've got to take this. Nope, it got away. Tried my best, really did. Next on our list, I am a maroon bird. When we run out of names, we can just call the birds colors, and that counts. And we're all fighting over this one fly who seems immortal. Can you just... Okay, well now no one gets it. Hope you're happy. Any of the birds with a swoop power are really good, because all you gotta do is get above something, and you can really catch them off guard, and it's a lot of fun. We are flying through these today. I'm already a falcon. Was that a diamond? I bet diamonds are rare. They probably don't spawn very often. I kinda want that. I don't need that, but I just don't want anyone else to have it. Duck? 
We got like a lunge attack with this so I can get a little speed boost so I can eat things nice and easy. This is one of the better birds. And we're now an eagle so I can eat all sorts of things including cats, penguins, and meat. So we're gonna fly to the left and mess with some ice. And it's already that time where we're now the snowy owl so we gotta head to the left anyway. I managed to level up just by eating people but now we can eat penguins and gerbils. I don't know what those are. This one is terrifying to level up because if something that can eat me comes down into this cave, it's not a lot of fun. There's not a lot of ways out. And when you're right about here, you can't really see the surface, so you don't know if something's coming down in until it's too late. Next bird form is... What am I? I can't see the black text. I'm this bird. I look like a loaf of bread with a beak. Apparently, I am a hawk, which can eat things like pigeons, so that's convenient. Come on, one more touch. Touch, touch, touch. Nope, you got away. I can, however, eat cats. That one was surrounded by poop, but I got right in there. For some reason, people really like falling into this body of water hurt, and they land all the way to the bottom, so as long as I swim on top of them, they're boned. And thanks to that little trick, I'm now a raven, which is a pretty good one because what does this do? Passive, bloodthirstiness, you eat the next food in one bite. Unfortunately, that doesn't include players. Pretty sure I found a spawn point for a lot of people. Right there beside me, beside this body of water, a lot of people spawn, and I can eat them right away. And you know that feeling when you fly headfirst into something you really shouldn't? I've got that right now. I just flew dead into that and we bounced upwards at the same trajectory so he murdered me very quickly. My favorite food of all, cats. I'm not, in, not even talking about the game. Now we're making progress. I'm a bat which is very annoying to play against because I can dive down into the caves and see everyone and it's a lot of fun to trap him down there. Like this poor pigeon. He didn't get a long ways in but I think I'm able to push him in far enough. Well he's not putting up much of a fight anyway but you get the idea. Got one trapped. And that poop may or may not have purposely been placed there so he couldn't get out. The good news is we're one step away from being the big pterodactyl. The bad news is this can only eat the yellow fruits in dinosaur land, which is on the other side of the map. But lucky for me, I found a portal last night right up here that can take me all the way there. Just gotta fly all the way up and find it. Right here. For the longest time, I didn't know this existed. I would literally fly all the way across the map. A few yellow fruits later and we're a full-size pterodactyl. This one's fun because you can just land on top of things and they get trapped. There's not really much you can do about it. Which is this unlucky guy. That was quite a bit of experience for him to lose. I bet he's pretty mad right now. A fun strategy with these guys is to fly up into the air, drop straight down onto a water hole. Then you'll trap whatever's down there. They can't get away. Uh, unless you don't land on them. But if you do, great. Like this poor guy. See, once you're on top of them, you're too wide. They can't get out from under you, and it's hilariously evil. All right, I gotta eat one more thing, then we're done with the pterodactyl. Oh, if he was just a little bit slower, we would have had him. Anyways, we're now this thing. All I gotta do, whoops, stay away from the dragon, is touch things and I poison them. This one is kind of hard to work with because that's basically all I can do is poison them and hope they die. And the depressed grape seems like it doesn't do a lot of damage. Like even if I'm constantly touching something, it ticks so slowly. I think that guy legged out before I could even kill him. As much fun as I'm having poisoning players, it's not really working fast enough. I'm gonna eat the fish and move on to better creatures. After the depressed grape, we get something that excitingly eats stones. Luckily, it's only gonna be two stones, so we'll start heading to the right because I know what's next. Basically, the red version of the stone eater. I can only eat red eggs. And I'm all the way up to seventh place already that went by so fast then we turn into this thing which is also kind of hard to play as because once you hit things you paralyze them for four seconds but you're too small to really do anything about it they always get away luckily for me i can eat the eggs i get way less experience as this thing but i still get experience so i'm gonna work with that once you're done collecting eggs you become a bowling ball with a pitchfork this creature's power is a one in three chance to light something on fire if they do light something on fire it loses five percent health per second so it has 20 seconds to live and interestingly it's one of the few creatures that can kill the big boss this yeti and the spider we'll go see him next because this is the fastest way to do it killing these guys gives you lots of experience and again there's a bat up here and a bat would give me lots of experience if i can get him on fire it's gonna be hard to catch him it's coronavirus again i have another chance to defeat it though i'm sure i'll get more opportunities another great thing about this guy he can fit in caves you can get all the way down there and light things on fire down here once they're on fire down here they don't really have a lot of chance that guy's got 20 seconds to find water now and he's going through the caves once we're done with that we become a dragon now what the dragon does is fires its fireballs. If they hit something that's 25% of their health gone plus 5% health per second, which is pretty considerable. What I like doing with this guy is firing a very slow fireball, and then a second very slow fireball, and then a third very slow fireball and waiting for it to hit something because that all stacks and that's a lot of damage. I just managed to eat a raven and look at all the experience I got. I'm basically all the way to the next thing which is a phoenix which is another one that's really fun. The phoenix is fun kind of for reasons like this. You can get right down in here and once you set things on fire like that, 5% per second. All you gotta do is get kind of close to them and use your ability. He's just gonna wait down there to die and I'm gonna sit here and watch. He's trying to find an exit. He can't find one because there isn't one. You're welcome, buddy. Now, you can really be annoying by hanging out near a water hole. Because the recharge time is only 8 seconds, things need to get back to that water to put themselves out. 
As soon as they do, they'll put themselves out, but then you light them on fire again and it's a never ending pattern. And this is one of the few creatures that can eat alligators. Now that my annoying job as a phoenix is done, I am a cosmic insect, which looks like this and only eats those eggs that are in space. Not really sure who or what can eat me at this point, but I know if I set on the egg, I'll be alright. And just by being this thing, I'm all the way up to fourth place. And after that, I turn into this thing. I can eat things like that. I think there's some over here. Don't know what they are, but I'm putting them in my mouth. This is far and away the most exciting of all the creatures to play as, because I get to sit on big blue fruit and do nothing. And now I'm whatever this is. So... Right? I can eat these now. I do feel a little better knowing there's only three people stronger than me and therefore only three people that can eat me, because last time I was doing exactly this and one of the few things stronger than me came into the cave and trapped me. I lost a heartbreaking amount of experience. So next is a cosmic bat, which looks like this, and that means I can eat even dragons. I can eat everything out there. My powers are in space, I move normally. Oh, I can eat this thing too. I've always wanted to eat one of these, even though I've only seen it twice. How much experience do you give me? That's actually a ton of experience. Wow. But I also couldn't help but noticing how big I am. I think it's going to act like the pterodactyl. If I land on top of something in the water, they're going to have trouble getting away. And I really dislike annoying people. Not sure if all the creatures do different amounts of damage to, but this one seems to hit particularly hard. I've destroyed a few creatures, only hitting them once or twice. This is not a good place to be. I shouldn't have gone in the mud. I was chasing a pelican of all things to do that. I should learn something from this because I was just chasing no experience and I died. Oh, he's going to get the phoenix though, so that makes me feel better. Because if I'm going to lose, everyone else has to lose all the way back to this thing? Well, that sucks. Sometime later, we're back. The big yellow biter. Lessons I learned from last time. Don't put yourself in the muck, because if you do, the one thing that can kill you will stroll by at that moment and kill you, setting you back an hour. I'm actually really nervous playing as something like this, because you know that anything stronger really wants to eat me because I'm worth so much experience. And apparently I turn into this next, which is just dying, and I'm a ghost. What do I do as a ghost? The zombie. Where did I find a zombie? Probably the graveyard. I know it was somewhere to the left. My skill is this thing is immortality. You are immortal. You can take a break from playing. I'm not ready to take a break. I've still got people to eat. Oh, I'm in second place. That's not bad. The zombie might be down here. Probably makes sense given what I'm seeing. There's gotta be something down here. What are you? You're not anything. You're not a zombie. I wonder what I was looking for. The zombie. Or at least a zombie. Hopefully this turns me into whatever is next. What does that say? Ghostly Reaper. Ghostly Reaper might be the final evolution, so that would be awesome. You, please die now. Excellent. This is going to be fun. Oh, I've still got more evolutions after this. My skill, 25% of a player's health every time I hit it with my scythe. And I can eat everything. So it's just going to be a matter of cornering the right type of players. Four hits, they're done. Probably going to be hard to do out in the open. I know these things kill me every once in a while, but that's because I smash right into them and then they get four easy hits on me. I'm just going to fly around with a right click held down, that way it is automatically attack things. Animals won't give me any experience, I gotta remember that. Just out of habit, I farm them. I'll just sit here and wait. Something's gonna walk out eventually. If I wanted to be really mean, I'd just wait up here and wait for all those defenseless orbs to come by, and then I'd just kill them really easily and get huge experience. And this creature doesn't like being in space very much, so let's get out of here before I die. I thought this creature was gonna be awesome. It's actually hard to use, because I've got to actually hit things with my pick four times. Somehow I slid my way into first place, so I'm officially the strongest person on the map. Now if only I could kill a single thing with this powerful character. Look how little experience that got me. I just killed a something and I got like a sliver of experience. I could just harass Zane here for a while. Zane will be good experience. If Zane wants to die, I'll be happy to oblige. There we go. And oh, that leveled me up instantly. I'm now a pumpkin head. Pumpkin ghost. Okay, I need to figure out what this thing does. I can speed up. I can only eat pumpkins. Where were the pumpkins? I think by the graveyard. I don't know why this is one of the top evolutions, but it is. Okay, find the pumpkins, they're over here. I've ignored them because this is the only thing in the game that can actually eat them, and apparently I only need to eat two of them before becoming whatever it is that's next. I'm in first place by 6,000 points, and this is what I got. I am this. Next is the Grim Reaper. I kill all living creatures, and I think I just have the pickaxe attack again. Yes, I do 30% damage to them if I hit them with the pick, so still four hits to kill them, but if they're already hurt, that could be three or less. Oh no, this little bluebird is stuck. I better help it out. There you go, enjoy freedom. I think I finally found a place where I can kind of track players. Even that's not really working great, but I got one, so if I wait patiently here for a long time, that could work. Caves like this make me happy. Look at all the creatures that are in here. Not sure how good their vision is, so I'm just gonna sit here and wait and see if anything comes to me. This guy thought it would be fun to try and sneak past me. He's gonna learn why that was a bad idea. Oh, dragon, if I can get the dragon. Oh, this will be huge for me. Come on, get the dragon. Yeah, perfect. Wow, I actually did it. I killed the dragon. 
That guy's so mad. That sets you back like an hour. Now, what does this guy do? I can eat all living creatures. Uh, my skill is 35% of the max health if I hit him with the scythe. There's nothing next, so this is it. And the ultimate evolution looks like this. And yeah, this is his skin. Maybe I can eat the depressed grape while I'm here. I was kind of hoping the final evolution has some kind of cool power or something. There's nothing really left to do at this point but decide how best to annoy everyone. I need to find the worst spot for me to sit and then pretty much trap everyone. Coronavirus is back. We've evolved so far, haven't we? Just found an owl who probably regrets his choice. Even managed to level himself up. Oh look, he got away. Not. Can we defeat the thing that's in the underworld? That looks pretty strong and I couldn't hurt it as anything else. This might be the only thing that can. Really glad the green fire doesn't uh, hurt me. I was kind of wondering how that would play out. Okay, we can, but it can hurt us back. Oh, we got to get out of here. This was a bad, bad, bad idea. I'm going to take the cautious approach to try and get away. Get over his head. Go. Got to get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. So that thing can be defeated, but good luck. You're going to need like eight of these guys to be able to do that. And I'm not risking losing my progress. My mortal enemy. The only other one of these that exists so far. At least that I found. Oh, and there's a phoenix too. We can all get a bunch of experience here. He's not really down to fight, it looks like. There's a phoenix destroying that spider. I think he's moving to the right and it's slow for him to get out. So I think I could actually trap him there. I'm glad I caught that. Wait, get out of the way, B. Oh no, get out of the way. I gotta block this tunnel. This phoenix is gonna be mad. Yep, here he comes. Oh, I might not be able to get past this. Oh, I should have let him come a little further. Man. Either way, I wouldn't have been able to trap it because I can't get past this spot. He could have backed off and I wouldn't have had him. Just saw him poke his head up there. I'm not sure he can get out of the cave that way. He might be too big. I think he is. So I'm going to go back and block the exit again. And I'm just going to wait for him and wait and wait and wait. He's currently in sixth place. If we see him drop, we know that he died somewhere in the cave. So we'll just wait for a few minutes. I'm not sure if he can get out or not. One of these guys just came down. So that was kind of nice. I guess they like coming down here because of the experience they can get. No, he got away. We'll let him have that one. He came right back in. What's he doing? Oh, he's so mad right now. Wait, what? Did he just quit? What's happening? Is he lagging out? Did he alt F4? I don't, I, don't, I don't get how he's doing this. That should count as a win for me, though. Either way, he's annoyed, and I'm happy. Not really sure what he's doing, but I wish I knew how to do it. That way, when I was in trouble like that, I would be able to get away instead of dying the many times like I have. And it looks like coronavirus has eluded us once again. He must have escaped from the cave to the left. He escaped! They did get out. I don't know how they did it, but they eluded me. They went through the wall somehow. This little bird's in a fun predicament. I'm gonna sit right about here. You can't go into the spider web because they'll die over there. So as long as I'm sitting here, we'll just sit and wait. I've got time. Well, they accepted their fate and walked into my scythe. This is a good little cave for this character because things just walk right into you. If they're smart, which they might be, they'll fly over my head to the far right pumpkins, but we'll find out pretty shortly. And here's the ghost version. I think no one wants to fight me because I'm still a stronger version than them. This guy might be the same thing, but I'm not sure. If I could get this guy trapped in a cave, then I would have it made. Found him underwater. Oh, I could have had an advantage if I played that better. They just run for the clouds as soon as they see me now. I think this is the first chance I've had to kill a dinosaur. So that's neat. What about sharks? I can kill the sharks. Might, yeah, there goes the pterodactyl. That guy's gonna be mad too, cause that's a big setback. I found coronavirus again, but he's just a little ghost taking a break. Got another pterodactyl. That one is only a baby, but that sets him back even further. And I know there's currently a phoenix fighting that spider, so I'm waiting to see if they're going to pop out this side. If they do, I'm going to try and ambush them and catch them. I took a peek. They're coming this way. I don't think they saw me. They might be playing on a smaller screen than I am, so I have a bit of a vision advantage. Yep, there they are. Come on, come on. Got him. That one felt good. 59,000 points, and I bet he's really, really mad. All right, I think to finish this one off, I want to go find a character that can hurt me and battle to the death. Whichever one of us survives, survives. Whichever one dies, dies. Target acquired, we got ourselves a ghost. Mm, again, not sure if this is stronger or weaker than me, and he just runs away anyway. No one wants to fight. Oh, if he's going for the mud or the water, I could get him. He's realized I'm after him, and he just kind of runs away every time I get close. I just want to hit you a few times. Come here. Got him once, and then I hit space, so I kept on floating. Oh, I think he's in there, though. Got him once. Oh, hit for hit. Let's do this. Oh, no. That's not good for me. But that's a good way to end it. They get all those points now. They earned it. It just puts me back as a ghost anyway, so I'd be right back to where I was. Today, we're going to start upgrading, and we're not going to stop until we defeat every pirate in the universe. That one's cannonball resistant, but he's going to get a little bit closer. That way, we can really hit him hard. He will fire back at us on occasion and hit our cannon or our fort. Luckily, we can repair that rather quickly. He's going to inch closer and try it all again. This time, he had another hit. Luckily, our fort is rather tough. Well, this is a pretty basic cannon. Our last shot would go right over his head, so we need to aim perhaps a little bit lower. Let's try there. And got his cannon. 
That means he's going to get closer and not be able to fire. <laughs> but that's not a bad trajectory if we fire at pretty much the same spot, maybe just a touch higher. And kablamo, it got him. Straight in the head and he tipped over. I don't know why he's as tough as my entire fortress is, but we won't ask too many questions. Pretty soon we'll have such a big cannon that will annihilate everything in front of us. Look how happy he is. Okay, I want to knock him right off that. Can we fire right here maybe? Is that going to get a <laughs> headshot? And he's dead. Then his raft sinks. It's a little known fact that that happens. If someone on a ship dies, the whole ship just sinks. And from there, we can uh, definitely upgrade different things like our fort. If we want stronger fort, $1,140. We can add a cannon of all sorts of varieties. We have a lot of different cannons to get through. The one we can afford right now, shotgun is weak at long distances, but is as affordable as peanuts. The most expensive $4,400 controlled explosion cannon. That would be fun. I can simply upgrade my basic cannon for $200, so we're going to do that. I'm not really sure what that does. It gives us a sunset background on level 2 as our pirate idiots roll up in a slightly improved boat. This one does still have a patch on it and a porthole. It's a little bit hard to hit them when they're this far out because they're way out there. You gotta kind of guesstimate. And our new cannon does this. Uh, well, we touched their boat just a little. I think it's unfair that I can't hurt, hurt their wooden boat, but they hit my stone fortress and hurt it. But at least now I have my prior shot's trajectory, so if I fire the same trajectory, we would hit their cannon. Let's go a little bit above to see if we can hit one or both of the idiots on board. <laughs> Got him. That did eat up half his health. We didn't hit the one in the back. Uh, but we did hit the mustache man and that's really our priority mustache is always the captain and they called in reinforcements they have like a jet ski in pirate land with a cannon on it trajectory would hit the rear one in the dome uh probably wouldn't hit that one at all so we're gonna go just a little bit lower to hopefully hit the front guy and maybe also the back guy oh we hit the cannon and that guy <laughs> great there's something amusing about how we just domed them in the head with a cannonball and they slowly fall over they just fired directly over my fortress the one in the back is i think a baby cannon anyway if he gets close enough he's gonna hit that guy oh they got our cannon that's not great now they both get to move up and i miss a turn but presumably the closer they are the harder i hit them here comes the boom that time they hit me there yeah, we're at i don't know 60 percent health mm, gonna be a little bit less once this guy fires unless he misses which he so he did almost hit his friends okay so i need to take another guess at my trajectory again so we're gonna go i don't know here and then, okay, oh, <laughs> we got, <laughs> got that guy dead. Not dead, but he probably has a headache by now. Okay, he did manage to hit my fort. That might have been a double hit even. The physics in this are a little wonky, but it's not exactly a AAA game, so we won't <laughs> judge them too hard. Okay, they're so close, I can basically see them from the fort now, so I really should stop uh, missing this front pirate. So we're going to fire, I don't know, here. Like, And there's strength. I can control the power of this. I'm just firing max power always, because why wouldn't I? Okay, that was a really bad shot. I will admit that. And they hit my cannon. The cannonball went through them that's not fair uh we're actually in rough shape here suddenly because i need to repair and they get to fire again and they're four feet away so um they're gonna hit me i'll get to return fire really hard on them but uh you see the problem here uh something hurt that one i'm not really sure what happened but i'm pretty sure i just died so i should probably start taking them more seriously but the beautiful thing is i get money so i can actually upgrade my cannon again so it's not in uh, my worst interest to lose once in a while because i just get stronger because of it oh he bought a new helper today this guy's got a super mustache okay he's way out there so i need to aim i don't know pretty high maybe here that was just a complete guess. Got him. Got him both a little bit. I get extra money for that because I double shot at him. That also took off half of his health. I wonder if I have multiple cannons if I get to fire multiple times per turn. These are things I don't know the answer to. Okay, I need to aim just slightly lower than my last shot. So let's try there. Is that going to get one or both? <laughs> Definitely knocked that one right off the boat and he insta dies. Oh, that's good. My heavier cannon can one shot pirates now. Okay, the reinforcements still show up. Probably ran over his friend on the way in. That guy, I think I can get in one more hit if I manage to hit him cleanly in the head, which I'll need a considerably lower shot. Let's try there. And got him. And we finished him off. The guy behind is so intimidated right now, but he doesn't have a choice. They just have to keep moving forward. Um, okay, I need to aim higher on this one considerably. Let's try there. And oh, we gave him a haircut on that one. I really need a second cannon at this point. Next time I'm just going to buy the shotgun one. That way if they get close I can hopefully fire with all cannons. Okay, he still managed to take off a lot of my health. But I think this time we should be able to hit him pretty cleanly. Something there. And well, we hurt his cannon really hard. Pretty sure if I hit him like square in the shoulder he will fly right off his little boat though. Because he doesn't have a lot of safe space there. My prior trajectory is actually still pretty close. Let's just go a touch lower and got him. He didn't fall off his boat, but he almost did. 
This is what you do with pirates. You just fire a big cannon at them. Okay, we need to go way lower than our last shot. Let's try there. And oh, that was embarrassing. We were right up against them. This shot, though, we should... uh There. There we go. We knocked them right off the boat. Now we have $1,100. Ford upgrades cannon sale 30% off. Was that always a thing? Uh, We could straight up buy actually another basic level cannon. Maybe from the top. $700. Is that worth it? I don't know if that's worth it. But we can also upgrade this upper cannon once. I wonder if we can upgrade basic level cannons too then. Like if I bought a shot shotgun can i upgrade the shotgun or do they turn into newer they don't seem to i have questions but i have two cannons and hopefully i can fire both in one round that way i can you know rain down on these pirates that have a much more intimidating ship suddenly can i fire both at once that would be hilarious okay so this is an upper cannon it's gonna have a weird trajectory so i'm just gonna go like that and i knocked off their uh, anchor and we do get to fire both okay this will be all right so let's go there and hey, <laughs> got their cannon. I really want to knock this guy out of the barrel. They fixed their cannon. Okay, my last shot was too low, but they got closer. So let's go there and <laughs> got him. The cannon hit him twice. And okay, the last shot from here. Ooh, we'd almost killed that guy. Let's go there. Okay, we hit a whole bunch of things there and broke their cannon. They just have to get closer and closer and put up with this. They are bringing in reinforcements. My fort's also taken uh, basically no damage. So I'm going to fire a little bit higher because then I can hit hopefully that guy. And then it's going to fall into that guy. Perfect. Double hit. I was hoping he would fall out. Okay, this shot we need a slightly lower trajectory because we want to finish off that first pirate. Let's try there. And got him and touched it. Oh, fall off the boat. Yeah, double shot. Uh, this ship's so big that the guys behind might actually shoot this guy. But we'll see if that happens. Because they move in and depending on how high they aim that, I don't know if they can hit each other or not. That's kind of close. Okay, the trajectory on this one's almost perfect. We just need to go a touch lower. Let's try there and got him really hard didn't get the back guys this cannon we're going to have to adjust we'll go a little bit higher hitting hopefully either the upper guy or the lower okay well oh, he's pretty dead so that eliminates one cannon incoming those guys yep they managed to get a hit but i've got two cannons firing back so i'm very confident here oh okay they brought in more reinforcements that's just a man on a raft though like i'm not that worried about that one especially if we get a shot that bounces off the first guys does that shot look pretty good it looks not bad if we go touch lower than that right there and <laughs> well we got his cannon okay we're gonna name this one uh we gotta go definitely lower than what our current sh last shot was there did we get him well we got that one so we're gonna get one shot in return but we broke the rear guy's cannon oh how could i not take that shot i should be aiming for the guy at the front but like why would we not do this because <laughs> we get to dome him straight in the head this one we got to go a little bit lower let's try there okay we got him bounced over the rear pirate but that's okay we're chipping away at their health they both return fire we're down to about half health but the guy in the rear really isn't hurting that much it's going to be a little bit harder to start hitting these guys because they're getting close i'm kind of guessing at where i'm shooting at this point especially from an upper cannon there Oh, yeah, we got him. Direct hit. He's so close to dead. I feel like a light breeze would finish him off. Oh, okay, we hit his cannon instead. That probably actually almost hurt him. The rear guy fired. He did a little bit of damage. But we should be able to finish off the guy up front because I can basically see his boat from here. He is right there. So let's try, I don't know, here. And we got his cannon in him and we hit the rear pirate. Apparently I got a medal for that. Hopefully that's worth money. So this is going to be definitely a little bit higher than our last shot. Let's try there. And got him. He's dead. We earned so much money. So for our lower cannon, we can afford an even better one. A uh, sniper rifle sounds interesting. Chain shot, devastating ammunition. Well, let's try a sniper rifle. I did want to go back to level two for a second, not only to test these, but to just earn some easy money so we can upgrade some of these things. These are new pirates. So the old cannon from, I don't know, here, you shoot that one almost horizontal and it doesn't work anyway. The middle one, we definitely got to shoot upwards then and got him <laughs> right off the boat. But our sniper rifle, does it fire like in a straight line the whole way? What is, it? oh, interesting. That makes it easier. Oh yeah, you can just snipe them right off the boat and he's dead. There is easy money. So we can actually exploit this right now to sort of just grind money here because these guys can't defeat me now because as long as we got a sniper rifle firing somewhere out there we're able to hit whatever we want so sniper rifle shoot him right there got him <laughs> and it knocks him right off the boat yeah this is gonna work out real nice so let's upgrade this sniper rifle one more time because that thing can't be strong enough we should save up for the fort that's gonna be 1140 okay so this new upgraded sniper rifle this guy's half dead anyway because i hit him once 
but it definitely hit so hard like that would have sent him past the second guy. Even my basic cannon just knocked him straight off the boat. The pirate's coming up now, the backup pirate. So we get to try our newly upgraded sniper rifle. We're just going to waste a shot there because I want to see the super sniper and you go down. Okay, super sniper rifle, go. And yeah, that actually sent him quite a ways off the back of the boat. Okay, I also want to try this other cannon up top. So it's going to be whatever this one is. We're going to upgrade it once. Then I'm going to upgrade my uh, regular basic level cannon one more time. It's starting to look pretty good. I think it's maxed. Then we can try level four with bigger, better, badder pirates. This one's got idiots all over it. So first we're going to start with this new one. I'm not really sure what it does. Oh, okay. That's fun. That's going to mess things up really big. And then just our uh, beginner cannon that's upgraded quite a bit. And it's going to bounce onto oh you can actually hurt those things and then of course the sniper so you can hit pretty much whatever you want with this so we'll try him <laughs> and that took off 60 percent of his health they're starting to get pretty nice cannons but i did also upgrade my fort so it's pretty resistant to damage so this next shot i want to fire just a touch lower than my last one but it's going to fire the whirly thing that's going to mess up everyone that's maybe going to drag him over the edge uh, i didn't but he was close now this shot i need to go a little higher with my uh basic level cannon but it hurt him and it rebounded into him then who do we hit with the sniper? I think we can one shot this guy. Yeah, we sure can. <laughs> Off he goes. Okay, they missed their one and only shot, but they did bring reinforcements. They have another actually full-size pirate ship. So I think to get the most out of the damage of this thing, we're just going to fire it way up here. Hopefully it hits, yeah, <laughs> that and uh, really makes a mess of their little ship. Okay, my basic level cannon's going to fire right there, preferably straight into that guy's dome, finishing him off. Then the sniper's going to finish you off. Then the first ship is sunk already. Then it's just a matter of dealing with these morons, but... I'm pretty sure I can take care of these guys, especially if they do that. And considering I'm firing this whirling ball of doom at them, that's going to be no problem at all. <laughs> Knocked him right off the edge. You'd think they'd learn to swim, being that they live on the ocean. A basic cannon, which we probably will replace at some point because um, it's not really doing it for me anymore. But this time we're going to take out him. Oh, we can hit the cannon. Okay, the sniper should maybe move to up top. That way I can aim down over things. Oh, they have a third pirate ship coming in. Now, I'm really kind of happy about that because that's just more pirates that we get to hurt, starting with that one. Well, he's not hurt anymore. He's dead. Okay, this shot looks like it's lined up perfectly for a nice uh, head dome. And then it's going to bounce off and hurt their cannon a little bit and disappear. The sniper is not really going to do much right now. I can hit maybe like I can aim for the top of his head. I think I'm going to hit there. No, I got him. He just got to get just over the hitbox. Uh, I'm going to take a guess on this shot and just fire it. It's got such a big like hitbox that I can fire it almost anywhere and it's going to hurt something a lot. This one's lined up pretty well perfectly. Not much adjustment needed there. And the sniper again is, well, their cannon's dead anyway, but... Well, now the cannon's really dead. The bald guy will land a shot, but our fort is so tough now that it doesn't matter. And they're getting close enough now that they're in trouble. I wouldn't want to sit very close to this fortress if I was them, because I can just go like that and <laughs> we can uh, hit multiple things all in one shot. The closer they do get, though, the harder it is for my sniper to actually hit something useful. Like I might as well just aim for their cannon. Oh, OK, I somehow got him. That's fine. Accidental murder is the best kind. Oh, they have a third idiot coming in too. Maybe you just fight all the ships in their order. So next level we'll fight starting with a bigger ship, then all the rest of the usual idiots. So that would aim probably, I could aim a little bit higher and think I got him. Knocked him right off the boat in one shot. Then I got a guess on this shot because I have no idea where he's sitting. We managed to get him just a little bit of damage. Luckily our sniper is the final shot. I'm pretty sure I can get right over top of the cannon. Which means we won. We got $2,700 to spend on up upgrades. But I'm going to move the sniper to the top. I'm going to upgrade the sniper so it's max damage. I'm also going to put my basic level cannon on the bottom, but I'm maybe also going to sell the basic level cannon. It's fun and all, but we now have a $3,000 whatever this thing is, and that sounds like fun. Click anywhere to triple angry cannonball. Yes, I think I will. Then I'm going to upgrade my middle uh, dangle ball cannon thing, which brings us to level five. So they're starting to get, yeah, pretty elaborate with their pirate ship. There's all sorts of things for me to hit here. So maybe the sniper eventually isn't, I guess it's going to be good for picking out individual idiots like him. We could hit him really hard and almost one shot him because he went flying. We should aim for the rear guy maybe. This will be good for ships like this though because it's going to do this and that can hit all sorts of different things and roll around. That wasn't a great shot but that could definitely mess things up. This is the new one. This is the triple whatever so it fires up and there we go like that and yeah three different shots going out and it kills all sorts of things. Their cannon is take out 10% health. Luckily the sniper here can just you know 
go like that and pretty much eliminate anyone. That guy just needs a touch more damage. So if we fire the same trajectory, yeah, I like that. That's perfect. Because that's going to hit the baskets and hit up there and finish that guy off and drop onto that guy. Okay, that wasn't as dramatic as I'd hoped. This one will be though, because I'm just going to... Oh, okay, might have done that a bit early. Well, that works too, because it might finish off him. Yep, the <laughs> cannonball dropped from the sky and killed him. The sniper really is nice for just, you know, when you have one individual idiot you want to remove and he's gone. Now it's just these two, but he's got a basket protecting him. At least he thinks he does. I could probably weave this in between that. What do we think? Well, we got the basket out of the way. Then we're going to fire that and split it right there. We knocked him off the edge. All right, that one takes a little bit of learning, but I can see how that could be really good. They're going to return fire and almost miss because they're horrible pirates. There's definitely a lot of idiots to have to get through here, so... Well, I'm going to be sure to try and finish this one off. Oh, so close. He just needed a touch more damage. I'm going to try and fire this over top of the ship, though, and hopefully... Wow, that was um, <laughs> not what I wanted to happen. Okay, so on this one, we're going to go like this then. And we're going to finish him off, and then our balls are going to go flying to their ship. And they did at least a little bit. Which means these beautiful morons get a little closer. As long as they don't hit my cannons, I really don't care. The fort is strong enough to resist. Plus we have a sniper now, so we can just go like that. And knock him straight off the edge. Okay, the last shot was way too high. Let's try that one. That's a little better. We got uh, both him and the basket hurt. And the basket's going to block the shot for rear pirates. And we'll go like that and split it there. Okay, well, their cannons are actually really tough now. Maybe that triple shot isn't that good. We need something more powerful than a triple shot. The fort's down to 60%. But as we start to get less and less idiots to have to deal with, they're going to be able to return fire less because we'll sink them almost immediately. We got to go lower on this one. Let's try that shot. And we took out the basket and gave that guy a good smack. Now this triple cannon, we're going to split right there. That way we're sure to hit one of them dead and the other one's still alive. We clearly need more upgrades because we're not one-shotting everyone immediately. That's a big problem to me. What I think we can one-shot is probably this guy if we time it with the bell. Nope, we hit the bell. Okay, this one I want to finish off that guy. <laughs> we didn't finish him off, but we hit other things. Which means they got to hit my fort down to that much health. Luckily for me, I have a plan. This time we're going to heal, kill him one hit. That way there's one less pirate to have to deal with. Then we got to finish off uh, this guy. We just need a slightly lower shot. That should about do it. Wow, okay, that's not great. Can I see at this point? I just want to be sure to kill the ship. It's just way too annoying in my face. This should be perfect right about there. It has such a weird trajectory, but it makes people go flying. If we fire a about the same trajectory and split it there. We should be able to hit multiple things. His basket's almost dead. So he will return fire. He'll hit my cannon and hurt me actually. But they bring in the reinforcements. So it's just a matter whether I think I can get a sniper shot to them or not. I think this guy's in the way. So what we'll do is just finish him off hopefully. Nope, not quite. So it's up to this cannon which needs to fire just a touch higher. We'll try that. Which, uh... We finished him off at least. And then they're just dealing with the rear pirate. But this one's gonna be close because if they hit us... We're getting low. We could take probably two more hits. But luckily all of our cannons are up again. So we can take out both of them. Probably reasonably easy. This guy's one shot. This one's a little harder to aim with. But okay, I hit him. <laughs> adequately hard. He's going to stand right at the back of the boat. This one I need to aim just a little higher and we're going to split it there because I wasn't sure if that was going to hit him or not. Then he sinks <laughs> with a cannonball on top of him. Then they're bringing in reinforcements one last time. This guy says he comes in peace. I'm not sure I believe him. So we're going to go ahead and snipe him. And that's going to knock him straight off his raft. I don't like this triple gun thing. So I'm going to sell that for $3,000. Wow, I'm rich. Okay, so let's go straight to the max level, $4,400 cannon. Click anywhere to explode the cannonball. I will. Then this middle one, if we sell that, I think we can actually afford whatever this one is also. But we want to upgrade the max level cannon. Oh, we can upgrade the mid-level cannon too. Okay, this should be great. But also, what are we fighting? We're going to have big damage going. Is that an airship? Interesting. Okay, he says he comes in peace. I need him to hit the low part of his... Okay, that's a problem. I'm not really sure what to do about this. Oh. Oh, okay, so that just explodes and hits everything. Uh, he just hit his head also. Okay, this one I think I can click when to explode it. So I want to get closer than that, but something's hurting him. Okay, he's doing a little more than he did last turn. I think if I timed his sniper shot better, I could probably... Well, I can hit him. That didn't... I think I hit the cannon first. Like, it might have to be pure uh, sniper shots. I'm trying to time that so he's back on the down roll. Did I get him? Well, I hit him a little bit. Something keeps hitting him here. I don't know what's happening, but like his movement hurts him. As long as it's not another airship, I'm not that worried because we have controlled explosions now. I don't know what's happening. Something in his movement hurts him once in a while. So these guys, who do we want to hit? Who's going to be the hardest to take out? We'll go for you. 
Mm, still not one-shotting him, but it's so close. This one we can almost just fire straight in the same spot because it's an explosion, <laughs> which, ah, that works well. It one-shotted him and hurt him a lot. This next shot, we're just going to fire wherever it goes, and <laughs> that's fun. We can explode their ship now. They will get to return fire. I'm not sure how strong. Oh, my sniper. Oh, I'm going to miss that one. What I'm not going to miss is the ability to do this. And that really hurts him. I don't think it sent him flying because the one guy kind of blocked the shot for the other one. But if we fire this one in the same about zone, we can definitely get him a clean headshot. You'd think that would do more considering a cannonball just domed him in the head and then exploded. Uh, we might need to upgrade the fort's health at some point too. But we got our sniper shot going. I wish we could hit him. We could take our pick to finish off anyone though, so let's go with him. Because I'm pretty sure this shot, if we go like that, was just gonna nicely explode there. Drag him over the edge. And I think I can hit him right about here, and... Well, we tipped him onto the boat, but now we should be able to hurt both of them together. They hit my sniper again. It's like they know. Their reinforcements are probably gonna be adequately strong also. So this one I definitely gotta go a little lower with my explosive. <laughs> I split the difference. Got them both. This one's honestly a pretty good shot to just kind of go like that, and... Oh, I kind of see we should hit them first and then explode it, depending on where they land. That's prime for an explosion also. Unfortunately, they are going to return fire, and that's going to hit the fort, which is fine. Because we're able to snipe this guy one shot, so he's not a problem. This one needs to be a higher shot by quite a bit, and got both of them. Now it's just this poor guy with the beard. We need to go not too much higher, maybe that. And, well... Hmm, that doesn't do as much damage as you'd think it would. More reinforcements. That one does have three pirates, so it's going to take a second to take that out, which is a little annoying. What's not annoying is this pirate anymore. Okay, I need a mm, pretty well higher shot on this. Hit anything at all. We got... Mm, that wasn't bad. It almost killed him and hurt their cannon, but I wish it took out both. We're going to fire pretty much the same trajectory here, and it's just going to sort of hit what it hits. And that really doesn't do a lot when it explodes. Please miss. It would make me feel better if you'd miss. Oh, that was a weak hit, but it counted. Okay, I know that if I try and hit him, it hits the bell. We could just take out him. Uh, We're just going to hit him. What do we aim for here? Mm, let's go for him. Won't quite kill him, but if we get an explosion somewhere in the vicinity, it should make a mess. Like if I just fire the same shot again... It definitely got him dead. Oh, drag him off. Perfect. Two for one. Okay, this one's a little tricky. We need a much lower shot. That's hopefully gonna do... Nope. And they hit my sniper again. Super annoying. They always aim high. That sniper would have been good because I could have taken out anything at all. So we need a lower shot on this. Okay, that definitely killed him very dead. This one actually is a pretty good shot right where it is. So if we go like that and... <laughs> okay, that guy died. The problem now is I think if he gets a good shot, he will actually finish me off. That might be too low. Okay, they didn't get a good shot, which means it's time for my sniper, which hits very hard. It didn't quite finish him off. Oh yeah, it did. <laughs> he tipped into the water because he's an idiot. But we're not done yet. We got to fight this guy. Luckily, my sniper is back in action. So if I hit him there, <laughs> he walks the plank. We defeated 17 pirates and got $5,000. So we're going to upgrade our explosive cannon. We're going to maybe just do that twice. I really like that one. The sniper's max level. This guy's max level. This guy we're going to upgrade once. Then I just want to test that against some basic level pirates for a second to see the damage. Because we already know the uh, sniper damage. I can't weave it between that bell. So then it's just a matter of my controlled explosive, which is that one to go there and there. <laughs> okay, that works pretty good. This one's got to be just a little higher so we can go splat and yeah that's a much better explosion that sent him flying and the big cannon yeah it's not quite one shotting them but it's hitting a lot of things for a lot of damage but i do have an explode a controlled explosion to when i want so i can hit him and then explode him i do like the sniper just for occasions like this because i can just get him straight into his dome and then he somersaults off the raft Easy peasy. I think we're probably overdue to turn our fortress into metal at this point. Then I want to see how a basic like level 2 cannon hurts our fort. Yeah, that's a little better. They do like 5% damage. And we can return fire with big firepower. And then we should probably upgrade this cannon to its max level. So that's a max level cannon upgraded to the max. So then let's find out what kind of disaster we're going to be fighting against on level 7. Good old airship. Pretty sure. Just got to get the timing right. If I aim there and he's coming down, I can probably kerplunk. Got him. <laughs> Hit him really hard there. He's going to be dizzy and hopefully hurt himself. If not, I got a good old explosion that could probably get the job done there. I kind of misclicked that, but I got him. 
<laughs> okay, he's dead before he could fire. Keep in mind, all of these cannons are max level upgrades, so they're hurting. And there's a lot of things. Oh, an explosion's gonna eat these guys alive. So let's do our best to get them to group up. If I hit you there, you'll group up with your friend. That almost killed you. Actually, that was very close to killing you. Need team just a little above that. Let's try there. And kablamo, that definitely killed 1.8 pirates. Haven't even got to fire this one yet. Where's that gonna go? Okay, it's gonna hit you and explode there and that definitely killed you that basket's about dead they have very big cannons on their ship now which are probably gonna do adequate damage so i'm glad i upgraded that this is a perfect shot watch this straight into his dome <laughs> okay that hurt him and took out half the basket now as far as the controlled explosion is going we're gonna try and land that right there that way oh it almost knocked him right out of his basket I didn't even know it could happen like that. They are going to get one shot to return, but then uh, I think they're doomed because look at what's left. They didn't even hit any of my cannons. So we're going to, uh, we could hit either of these fairly easily. Let's go for you because I know I can hit. Okay, never mind. This is an easy shot for you who went way overboard, way out there. This one, I just got to go a touch higher and direct it and he launched. And here comes the next ship. It's definitely a smaller one. I like how these two are nicely bunched up. We'll see if we can add another one to that mix. You go stand with your friends for a sec. That way when I fire an explosive into your midst, it hurts all of you real bad. It definitely killed two pirates. This next shot's going to be a little bit harder to land. That trajectory might not be bad. Let's try there. And... <laughs> okay, that guy died a very horrible death. They're returning fire. Like, they are. I'm down to 65-70% health. But I do also have a sniper rifle, so no problem at all. In come the next idiots, one, two, three of them on board. I think the key is either to knock someone off the back with a sniper rifle or try and knock them back so you can hit more of them with an explosion. The trajectory is not bad, but if we fire there, should hopefully get some multiple guys. Oh, he almost fell out of his barrel. I'm just guessing at this point. Okay, well, that definitely took him out of his nest. And then there's only two left. That should be easy enough for me. The worst part is when they hit my cannon because it hurts the fort and disables one of my guns for a second. I could definitely, well, wait to finish you off. Just got him a little bit lower. That might do it. That definitely did it. He was low on health to begin with. This one, I think we got to go just a touch lower and then it's going to... Oh, huh. That's embarrassing. I thought we we're just absolutely going to annihilate this little ship. Mm, they did hit me rather hard down there. Luckily, the sniper is always the first shot up after I return fire, so it's easy to knock off anyone at all. The lone hope for the pirates to finish me off. Think I could probably hit them from here. Not sure why they always follow up with that guy. They should do it the other way around. Oh, no, hold on. We got more. What is this thing? Does that mean it sinks or something? Can I hit him? Is that getting away? Nope. Sure doesn't. <laughs> Look at how that shot's already lined up. I need to put no effort into this. I'll maybe just go a hair higher and got him. <laughs> that definitely got him. Oh, surprise. Uh, Again, the trajectory is actually pretty close directly into his dome. So if we go maybe there, then we can just go kabonk and oh, he's tough. Uh, Yeah, he's going to take a lot of heat. I didn't, um, didn't expect this to happen, but I do have a sniper rifle that's very good at... Um, doming people. Kablamo! Okay, yeah, he's very tough. I might have to keep trying to disable his gun with one of my explosions. Uh, I'm maybe gonna try it with a controlled explosion, though, that way I have, you know, sort of options. Okay, right in the dome. Got him. That hurts, for sure. Okay, this one I'm gonna try and hit his gun, just so he can't... Okay, we didn't hit his gun, but we actually did a lot to him. We might be okay here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be okay. His cannon hurts us, but not that bad. I would still would be better served to try and knock out his cannon every turn, but I mean... We can knock out him instead. We just gotta aim lower and lower every shot. And that should not quite kill him, but close. This shot's almost lined up automatically anyway. And I think he's dead. Off goes the bronze submarine. And that's it. We're the greatest pirate in the universe with max level upgrades. I spent an alarming amount of time playing these. Today's gonna be a pretty good day because we get to combine torture with evolution. But then again, they're basically the same thing. So we're going to start in the amateur league and see how badly we can break this. To begin, we have zero dollars and zero skills. However, we can fix this because this is in fact a running duck. So running is going to be what we're going to focus on. Well, they say running, but it's more like jumping, but you get the idea. Either way, it's going to be a bad day for this little duck. And we crashed right as we hit five miles an hour because my face was itchy. But the speed does increase the further we go. So I am curious to see just how fast we can make this idiot 
immediate run. And then it's tricky because sometimes the duck holds still when he lands, but sometimes he starts jumping forward and you don't really know when that's going to happen. And that makes it very hard to time things. But a few half-hearted tries later, I'm already run level 18. I'm not sure where that max is out, but we're going to find out. But good news, I've determined how the auto run thing works as I crash into the ball. It's if your duck falls back to this part of the screen, he has to run because he'll go out of frame if he doesn't. And believe me, if I lose track of this duck, if he gets off the screen, I am not bringing him back. So I've already hit level 50 and I can't learn any more from this training game. But joke's on it, I can't learn anything at all. But while we're at it, let's feed him some pink seeds and see how much he likes those. And then even some yellow ones, because we're gonna need energy to win the races. I'm generally not one for feeding my animals, but when they can make me some money, it's probably worth it for me in the long run. So let's see if our idiot is ready for an amateur race yet. He's only good at running, everything else he's absolutely horrible at. So I feel like he's going to be the first one to the water, then probably struggle a little bit. Yep, look at him go. He's like a rocket. And he drowned. wonder if he has life insurance. Do I get some money for, like, the body? Okay, so swimming training looks like that. This one you have a little more control. You can go up, down, and even side to side, so I can screw up in even more ways than ever before. I should probably mostly just focus on getting lots of money, because my duck seems to do not great without energy. But he also just doesn't do great in general, being that I'm in control of him. We are cruising up to a modest 23 miles per hour so far, so that's not bad. 28 miles per hour, we're picking up speed. I wonder if it just endlessly gets faster and faster, because that could be a lot of fun. We've officially broke 30. 32 even and we tried to go under an iceberg and after forcing this idiot duck to swim for 100 miles we're now at level 50 he still isn't drowned but we did make 78 coins which kind of made me wonder what exactly are these seeds this isn't training this is just buying him stuff that he puts into his body and i'm perfectly okay with that if i could train less and just do more steroids well that's just easier i just need to find a way to make lots of coins our energy should be over 20 by the time we feed him the yellow stuff and then with two skills at level 50 plus 21 energy is that gonna be enough who knows? Is he gonna drown? Who cares? And he's pulling away from the competition very quickly. The finish line is right there. We used up about half of our energy to get there. Congratulations, you won. Now go win all the other races. Well, just give me the money and I certainly will. Are we up to the task of race two? It looks like we're gonna start with flying, but we do get a few steps in first and I'm very good at stepping, thanks to my forced abuse of this duck. But he also flies kind of like a rock. But if he touches the ground first, he might actually win. Nope. It would be great if we didn't have to train all of his skills, because that's a lot of skills to work with. But let's see what flying's all about, because as we learned before, you can basically just fly him into the wall again and again, and it's still successful. So maybe we can work on every skill except climbing. He doesn't have to be a good climber if he's really good at everything else. So here's what I'm gonna do for flying. I'm gonna let him fly each and every time, just like this. Eventually, he's either going to hit the water or a wall, at which point everything's going to restart naturally because I have an auto clicker, so I don't even have to be here for this part. He's going to train himself. And if he manages to collect a coin or two along the way, even better. And here we go, after flying my duck into the wall a few more times, level 50. We didn't make a lot of money, but we did make enough to get him just a little bit more steroids. And that brings his energy up to 26, so let's see if we can win the next race. And given that it's large day flying and a little bit of running, I think we're going to kill this one. Safe to say we won that one. So, so what's the final then? Probably just a combination of the two, so we don't need climbing yet. Those idiots stand no chance. I'm a performance enhanced duck. There is, however, a little bit of climbing, but I think he's so good at everything else that it's not going to matter. At least I hope it doesn't, because I've already got the climbing out of the way, and now I can continue to pull way ahead of them. I ran out of energy. I thought I passed the finish line. I was right there. The duck needs more steroids. I think the fastest way to earn money is going to be flying. Mostly because you can go very quickly and eat a bunch of coins in a big hurry. And there's another 56 coins, so that means we could buy three and a half purples. That will hopefully push his energy up to where we need it. It's now 35. Which means he should actually cross the finish line. We made it with about 20% of our energy left. Still didn't get a monetary reward for that, but we can move on to the finals. So as long as my idiot doesn't have to climb anything, I think we're going to have a pretty healthy win. Though those other ducks are not as bad as I thought. But when it comes to raw foot speed, nothing compares to my duck. He's gonna climb anyway just to show off his skills. Wouldn't mind some money for some of these. I need to buy more performance enhancers for my idiot. This one's making me nervous because it starts with a climb. Um, I'm probably faster than them everywhere else, but maybe not by enough to make up for this little gap. Though I am gaining on them and we do get to fly, uh, but by then it's too late. So yeah, unfortunately, 
we're gonna have to teach this idiot how to climb. And that simply means jumping back and forth collecting coins, or maybe just ramming his head into the roof until he levels up. Yeah, this is fun and all, but it's a lot easier to just use my auto clicker to do all the work, and then I can just buy him all the steroids he wants. I don't know how long it's gonna take to hit level 50 like this, but I don't care. As long as I can get away with doing very little work, I'm happy. And my very lazy strategy has yielded me level 50 climbing and one coin. So we're gonna spend our vast fortune on seeds. And then we can finally win race two. That's some better climbing. Now we can way outrun the other ducks and this will be an easy win. As I suspected, not even close. And that just leaves the finals, which hopefully has a monetary reward. But I'm definitely the fastest duck of this bunch, so I'm gonna get to the top of the hill first. He's not necessarily a natural or flyer, that's probably because he smashed into so many walls, but it's still good enough to stay ahead. And if he didn't want to hit so many walls, he shouldn't have let me fly him. This one's even gonna involve a bit of swimming, and look at that energy, I had like 10% left by the end. Need more steroids. And our idiot's evolving. Finally. He has legs now. He has one leg. He's a head on a leg. That means he could enter the advanced league. New training facilities. That's all I need to know. Maximum level of 100. So here we go again. I'm pretty much just going to do this again and again. And he falls over. Hopefully he can get hurt. Despite this one enormous leg he has, he still doesn't jump any higher. All right, well, back to my lazy strategy to level this idiot up. You know, it's kind of curious. When I use the auto clicker, he doesn't actually touch the ground. I'm pretty sure he can jump right over top of other things. So that's kind of interesting. He's definitely jumped on top of some of the other balls and not died from them. And coins. Oh, well this is actually a very unfair advantage. I didn't realize this would happen, but I am pleasantly surprised. I just have a natural talent for ruining things. That one was actually doing so well, I made it all the way to the front of the screen, just hopping over everything, like the conqueror that I am. And our strange and lazy strategy got us to level 100 very quickly and gave us 37 more coins, which means another few batches of steroids. And we're obviously going to need a lot more thanks to all this added mass. And it looks like we now get fired out of a cannon instead to start it, we've got to navigate through narrow buildings. Uh, which of course we're not going to do. We're just going to fly into the buildings because it's easier. And also a lot more amusing because I'd really rather just be lazy. There's flying level 100 and some pretty major brain damage. Plus we have an even $15 to spend on steroids again. And that brings us to swimming, which we should be able to do pretty well now thanks to these big long legs of ours. I still feel like that would be pretty awkward swimming, but that just makes it all the better. I just realized that I made zero coins that entire time and I made it to level 100. There are no performance answers for idiot. So that just leaves our new climbing, which is pretty much the same as old climbing, just with a different skin. And it is no doubt a little bit more challenging than before, but that's not going to make a difference because I am just going to use my auto clicker to do all the work for me. It's just so much easier when you don't have to care about your duck. That was fast. One coin collected, 35 total coins, level 100. All they had to do was run that duck into the wall a thousand times. Not sure if he's going to have had enough energy to get through these races, but he will certainly have the skills because look at those legs. And the other ducks maybe haven't evolved in the same way as me. But to be fair, they probably have considerably less brain damage than my idiot. But look at those legs work. They can um, no chance against me. And yeah, I clearly have more than enough energy. Struggled a little bit getting out of the pool, but don't we all? So far, he's making all of these races look incredibly easy. He's just going to hop his way straight to the finish line. Look how quick he climbs now. Gotta be all in the legs. But that's maybe because my duck is basically made out of legs. There's more leg than duck. And that's an easy victory. That's the qualifiers. And now for the finals, but I can understand why the other ducks can't look up. Look at their legs in comparison. They're literally made out of lines. And my duck is just pure leg. And there's the finish line. We didn't win by as much as I would have liked, but that's okay because look how good my duck looks. In the final race, the other ones are actually doing not bad, but this is the final race. So they've got to have learned a little bit along the way. No matter what, this should be an easy win for my duck. And he's going to finish with about half his energy left also. But we're still going to spend every cent we have giving him extra steroids. And he's evolving again. Hopefully I get more legs. Oh, we grew arms. What do we need arms for? Well, longer tracks, max level 150, new training facilities. I don't want arms though. Well, at least the training happens a little bit faster. They even took us into the jungle for some reason. This is kind of odd, but I think this is easier than the first two stages because nothing is coming towards me really. I'm moving towards it and it makes it a lot easier. I may not even have to use the auto clicker on this one. I could probably get to level 150 just on a single run. We're up to 33 miles an hour. I didn't mean to clip that. We got 15 levels there though. I was doing so good until I started talking. All right, well, I had a good run, but I'm gonna let the auto clicker take it from here. You think of anything, this would be better training because that's gotta be hard on the legs. 
If you can jump that much for a few hours on end, you got a pretty strong leg. And strangely enough, the auto clicker actually works very well for this. He's literally just hopping over everything he finds. So he might actually just go endlessly. Okay, and at this point, the auto clicker is officially better than I am because we're up to 35 miles per hour and he's still going strong. Okay, never mind. It took us to 37 miles per hour, but that's still pretty impressive considering I didn't have to do anything. And just imagine what his brain is going through right now. After being smashed into a wall repeatedly for the past hour, now it's jumping up and down repeatedly and getting sloshed around in that big old bucket of his. And this way he's also collecting pretty much every coin on the map. And we've got 150 total coins now, and we hit level 150, so that all works out very well. So lots of steroids for him, he earned it, and that's probably also going to do wonderful things for his brain. Alright, let's see if we can ruin flying next. Flying here obviously starts at very high speed, and if you actually go straight down the middle, it seems like at least at first you avoid absolutely everything. Until you start running out of speed, but then we'll crash him into the ocean, because there's seven levels and I did literally nothing. But we're going to stick to what we know best, and that's basically doing nothing. That time, it happened so fast. The duck actually got lost under the screen somehow. So that was definitely pretty interesting. I just flung him straight down the middle again just for fun to see how far he would go. And we're up to level 125 already. And I did nothing. Well, that didn't take long at all. Level 150, 42 more coins, which means a little bit more steroids for the good duck. It's not even really a duck anymore though. It's like a man with a duck's head. And swimming has taken an interesting turn. It starts us in a cave where he torpedoes into the ground very quickly without getting much skill at all. So I might actually have to try something here. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm actually going to have to play this one. So I've got to navigate the duck carefully through the cave. And that's going to actually take a little bit of skill. And that kind of sucks for me because that's one thing that I'm definitely lacking. And the hardest part about this is I can't really slip past obstacles like I can in some of the other ones. Just if I so much as touch the darkness, I'm out. With a lot of the other ones, you could actually just kind of bounce over obstacles without much effort at all. And that's why my auto clicker could get away with so much. Well, we powered through level 150, got zero coins collected, but that's okay because I could be done with swimming, now we're just left with good old fashioned climbing. He's getting pretty intimate with that wall though, so I'll let him enjoy this one. Well, still smashing him into the roof as many times as I possibly can, but at least he gets some enjoyment out of this. But the best part about this one is I can be lazy again and use my auto clicker. This erotic adventure led us to level 150 and 43 coins, which means a few more steroids and then I think we're ready to race after spending my final $13 on the cheaper steroids. So let's see how the qualifiers are going to go and already I like the look of this. It's not a standard race, we've got to fly through the air and we're very aerodynamic it seems. And considering we have a natural disadvantage to flying, that's a good sign because once we hit the water those legs repel us to new heights. And I used up like 10% of my energy so that bodes well. That one was pretty much just a motorboat race so obviously I'm gonna win. And then we basically fly into the water and motorboat our way to the end at which point we're pretty much gonna outrun everything because we actually have legs unlike my stupid competitors. This one's just unstoppable now. He's going past everyone at an alarming rate. But the race isn't done yet and we've used about 60%, 40% of our energy with 60% left. So that was the qualifiers. Uh, if those are any indication, then uh, my duck is going to be the superstar, the ultimate duck, brought to you by evolution and laziness. And so far he is very much leaving the other ducks far behind because he's definitely better at running and swimming. So as soon as it involves any of those, he gets all the room he needs. This one's called the cliff, so I I assume there's going to be a lot of climbing but even then he's about as good as the uh, more natural climbers that one was a little closer than i would have liked luckily the final race should incorporate everything so that's less climbing and more of the stuff he's good at usually the final race is like a 1v1 there's my old duck we gave him brain damage too he didn't get legs though. So far the other ducks are keeping up. That one's kind of jacked. He also has legs but they're not as long as mine. That's where the running comes in. I got that good stride. And that looks like another victory for us. An otherworldly portal has appeared. I wonder where it goes. Do we get to uh, re-evolve? The layer of the ultimate racer. As you travel you feel yourself evolve. I is now a supreme duck. I right. I guess we didn't want legs anyway. Now we have fish fins, wings, and a spiky haircut. So just the final race now I guess. Watch out for his army of Domo Kun. Uh, okay we gotta click on those as we get to them. Don't worry duck you're in good hands. As indicated by my training all day giving you brain damage I possibly couldn't let any harm get to you. We get to explode things along the way though, that's kind of fun. Can I just use the auto clicker and be lazy one more time? Yeah, there we go. Nothing's gonna get past that auto clicker. Oh, unless there's something up top. At which point, he's boned. Is the auto clicker gonna get that one? Well, yeah, we're gonna have to move it a little bit, but at least I have to do less clicking. I think we're probably gonna win this. It even told me I'm the ultimate duck, so I have full confidence now. Even this poor brain damaged duck can accomplish great things in life. 
thanks largely to performance enhancing drugs. This is a long race though, I'm glad we didn't have to have any energy for this because I probably would have ran out ages ago. I just have these little brown weirdos trying to stop me all along the way. And to celebrate my victory, I literally murdered everyone including my competitor, which is a pretty good way to celebrate. We unlocked the throne room and an arcade and a high score training game. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for a high score considering I did the absolute laziest way possible. 500,000 coins is nice though. You want $500,000 worth of steroids? Well, that's what we had to work with today. I'm in the mood to do a whole bunch of blowing today. And I know a way to get even bigger numbers than ever before. Not that we don't already have a lot of every type of leaf, but I want to get something all the way into the Z's. Currently we're into the D's when it comes to regular leaves. But progress has slowed. Luckily for me now, I'm at the point where I've collected so many leaves that if I prestige, I'll get 4.14 quadrillion coins. So imagine how many more leaves we can get. 100% more gold leaf rewards. That would only cost 34 billion. If we spend quadrillions, we'll get tons more leaves. We just have to, you know, grind our way all the way back through the game again to get back to this point. Before hitting that prestige button and resetting, I want to collect just a few more leaves to make sure I'm getting the maximum amount of coins. And also before we reset, I'm going to max out my combos because I've been saving up leaves for a few days. We have 600 trillion gold leaves to spend. We're going to go through those pretty quick, but at least we'll get a few upgrades. And I'm pretty sure if I pick up a piece of fruit right now, it's going to give us something in the Ds. I just need to sit here and patiently wait for the right piece of fruit to appear. And then mercilessly blow it until it gives me what I want. And while I still have a stupid amount of red coins, I'm going to spend those also increasing my coin rewards when I prestige. Because already, after a few small clicks, we're going to get 24 A coins. And it's hard to even imagine a number that big, but it's sure going to help. Also, before doing that, we have a new type of leaf that probably comes from this new secret level, which under normal circumstances would be crazy hard and expensive to get to. Luckily for me, uh, I have 23 million of these coins all very legitimately saved up, so we're gonna buy this place, the Celestial Plain. And then we're gonna do some celestial blowing. And there's new enemy leaves here, but this little fruit right in front of me is the kind I need. It gave me 170 lowercase d's. So five of those should equal one bigger case d. So you can see how if we're collecting only those fruits and lots of them, we'll get huger and huger numbers very quickly until we get all the way to z's and whatever comes after z. And look how strong the enemies are here. My Roombas bounce right off them. I would upgrade their damage, but this prolongs the suffering. These also have a combo multiplier. So you yeah, we're definitely going to get some pretty ridiculous numbers today because even by buying the first few of these, everything else is going to go up big time. So let's start with that for now, Celestial Marketing. We just need a few of these leaves. Currently we have zero of them. And that's not a number I'm used to seeing anymore. Even the next hardest leaf to get, which is pretty hard, there's 15 trillion of them. So if they want to show up at any point, feel welcome. And they're not spawning in for me and I'm not sure why that is. Okay, I looked into it and the way to get the celestial leaves is to actually defeat the enemies. So as you can see, we're gonna need more powerful Roombas. Hit damage, 0 of 60. Well, we're gonna buy lots of those and ALB hit damage, also more of those. That's pretty crazy, we could only buy 18 of the 60 levels. But now the Roombas should be doing a ton more damage when those stupid things spawn. This one kind of has a chance of dying because of all the things hitting it, but I need my Roombas to stay nearby. We might actually get our first leap at this point, thanks to that little bit of extra damage I managed to get them so far. Come on, you can do it! There is 25! And don't worry, we can use these eventually to get more damage. And since we've been at one capital D for a while, I'm going to increase the value of their seeds as many times as I can, which is probably going to be quite a lot because we have so much money. We go from the T's into the A's, the capital A's, and we're going to skip over to the C's as soon as we're through that level, then into the capital C's, 100 out of 100. I guess I really should just buy max of everything, that's only going to get us more coins in the end. We're up to level 22 of 100, but we'll get there eventually. I kind of like this better because as much as I like the blowing, it's more fun to hurt things for profit. The things I've really got to work on right now are making more enemies spawn and more resources from when I do kill them. I've made myself able to spawn celestial apples because that's just easy resources to pick up off the ground and now we're going to go where the enemies gain enemy resources plus 25% per level. So slowly we're at 64 leaves per enemy and we can just barely afford celestial marketing for 830 leaves. That's giving us 96 leaves per enemy killed. It's a slow process, but it'll get big fast once it's rolling. I seem to have found more new stuff. One thing being the bigger bag, but also unique leaves for 20 million. I have about 20 million left, but do I want to spend the rest of my red coins on those? I'll maybe do this later and be sure to save 20 million coins. For now, I'll take the bigger bag because I'm not really sure what that means. Finally saved up enough of these stupid leaves to buy max combo plus one. Hopefully that does apply to the leaves themselves and we'll start getting a decent amount. 
because I've been at it a while and I only have 1200 of these stupid leaves. Okay, I need to buy Celestial Combo before this is going to apply for 15,000 leaves. Until then, Celestial Leaves are on their own. And I've added a few upgrades that are going to make more leaves spawn, and they're also going to give me more stuff when they do die, so hopefully they're able to kill it before that timer runs out. Yay, they didn't let me down! 134 leaves per enemy, look at us go. The extra enemies is going to add up. As long as they're able to kill what's on screen, uh, I'll be rolling in leaves before you know it. Let's jump on Celestial Marketing while we have a chance, because that's going to make a big difference. It's all about those investments. I've realized that the fastest way to get Celestial Leaves is going to be just simply to save up 15,000 so I can include them in my ridiculous combo of 6,700 times. And suddenly we're up to 100 uppercase D, so we might actually be able to hit some pretty cool numbers before we even prestige. Look at me actually reading and stuff. My max leaf storage right now is 100 uppercase D. I can easily afford a few more of these levels, so let's see if we can bring it all the way up to, you know, I don't know, one bigger case E, maybe F? We've never seen F yet, capital F. Now, finally, we can get the Celestial Combo, so that means we should be able to pick up one leaf for 2.81 thousand. Well, seeing as we have to prestige anyway to see the very biggest of numbers, I think we're about ready to do that, even though we've got 3.2 E now. It's so hard to know how to spend my money now because I could do things like this where the fruits can also join the combos. So those would be worth so much more and we're already getting 6.5 billion leaves per leaf. And then we've got the cool thing we can buy for 20 million. We could also use it here to get more coins. But for now, we're going to settle for 24.87 A's. Off we go, starting it all over one more time at record speeds. Because even just the regular leaves on the ground are worth 15,000 to begin with. And for some reason, we're also getting the Celestial Leaves here, and I'm not going to complain with that. So, I guess to start, since we've already collected 17 million green leaves, we should probably actually buy the upgrades. I bought Leaf Marketing level 7, and we're up to 121,000 leaves per leaf already, and I'm 10 seconds into the game. And I guess we could probably afford the gold leaves, because then at least we can start buying our combos, and that's going to get ridiculous fast. We're already up to 150,000 gold leaves, and that literally happened in real time. I haven't really... there, we're getting 12 million gold leaves per leaf at this point. 12 million per leaf. Again, I'm like 10 seconds into this, so these numbers are going to get really stupid today. And we're already up to 66 billion green leaves, so let's get them a few more little upgrades, mostly to leaf marketing. The bigger these get, the better off we're going to be today. Now, let's work on these combos. These really are the root of everything that's going to happen today. Without combos, we wouldn't get nearly the same results. How many leaves do I have currently? 39 billion, so we're going to get a few upgrades right now. So there we are, we're up to level 17 and 16 respectively, which means we're getting 314 million gold leaves per leaf. So after spending 40 billion, we're back up to 135 billion, and that happened in 4 seconds flat. We're already ready to buy Leaf Marketing 15 for 2.5 trillion dollars, but that's well worth it because we're getting 750 million leaves per leaf. Well, to be fair, our combo is already at about 4,400 times, so that's going to make it nice and easy to pr progress through the game. 1 billion leaves per leaf already for the basics. But obviously, we still need to make it further into the game, so we're about to unlock platinum leaves. But definitely not before increasing our leaf rewards. I've still got 25 A's to spend on both of these, so we're going to upgrade both of these just a few times. I don't want to go too overboard yet because I might need more coins for something, but we can definitely spend into the trillions without any worry at all. Now the upgrades themselves are going to cost into the A's, so we're going to just take a pause right there, but we're up to 1.7 billion green leaves per leaf, and that's already. That's going to push our combos higher than ever very quickly, plus we have the other types of combos too with the Celestial Leaves. I just unlocked Platinum Leaves, so let's see how quickly we can get through these. I was wondering why my numbers weren't climbing quickly, relatively speaking, and that's because I realized we're not even on the map that can spawn the Platinum Leaves. We still have three quarters of a million of them, but we, they can't even spawn here. That's how good we are at blowing. If we take ourselves uh, here, however, all we gotta do is blow a few leaves, and there we go, there's 10 billion of them. Okay, let's go for the record for Bismuth, the Rainbow Leaves. We're gonna start here, we're gonna unlock them. Now, we have 39, 40 something thousand of them, and what kind of upgrades do we need? I think we have all the upgrades already. So it feels like we're running into the same problem again. I don't think there's any leaves spawning on the ground for some reason. So that's okay, we'll go on to the next area that probably will spawn the leaves we need. There we go, they're finally starting to spawn in. They weren't for a second and they're still not very much. We've only got 1.59 billion of them. Now that sounds like a lot, but okay, we finally buy the upgrades for them. That should help. There we go, 23 billion of them. And my basic leaves are up to 85 trillion, so we're gonna have to go ahead and spend a few dollars on those. So let's try the speed run again. Cosmic Leaves, bot. Now we're going to go to the area where Cosmic Leaves exist. Very clearly, right there. I'm already there, so let's just go to the next area to make sure this is going to work. 
Already up to 100,000 of them, so we can probably afford a few of the upgrades. Trees, the cosmic fertilizer, cosmic marketing is always the big one. Once you get that, the leaves come really stupidly easy because there's billions of them. But let's go on with the void leaves because at least they're a little bit of fun. They're very dark and shadowy. So what we need first is void marketing, bought those max. We're still not getting any spawn. I think you have to respawn into the levels right now. Nope, never mind. There's 16 billion of them. I'm just so used to numbers going up in the billions instantly that if it doesn't happen, I assume something is wrong. I can also make a celestial leaf printer now too, which is going to be helpful. We do have 18,000 of them so far but they're actually going to make a really big difference and because I've got so many coins I'm going to spend that many on them. We're going to have four printers. And now I've got to work my way through the flasks and this one can be a little bit of a slow process no matter what way you do it but it won't be too bad for us because that actually maxed out the red flasks already and that's a good start. The more you can max out the quicker obviously the faster the next step is going to be until you get all the way to the strange flasks where you can start to increase your leaf rewards and that's really what I'm all about here. And even the strange flasks are going up at well over a million per second. But the main run I'm after here is all leaves plus plus. Increase your leaf rewards by 20% per level. Uh, at 70 million per level, it's going to be a little slow, but it's going to be worth it. Because the green leaves now are up to 2.65 billion per leaf. A single leaf gets you 2.65 billion. Speaking of basic leaves, leaf marketing costs 301 trillion dollars each. We have 100 trillion only, so we've got to step up our game. Possibly by using combos. I'm going to do something potentially really stupid here, but I think I'm going to try and upgrade their fruits, because I think they're going to have a lot of value in them too. Because even at the base, they're worth 271,000, and if I apply a combo of 5,600 times to that, I feel like that's a really big number. But I'm still really torn on that because if I spend 5 million on that, I can't get this for 20 million. And you know what? I'm just going to do this without any further thought because I think those might have new upgrades that come with them. I'll probably deeply regret that choice pretty quick, but there are some unlockable leaves. Clearly those are some weird unlockable things and we'll figure those out in just a little bit. Starting in the abyss because we need some of the leaves here and then we'll move on to some of the other ones. We need every little upgrade we can get along the way. I've blown like two leaves off the screen and we've got 24 million, so let's buy our farming certificate. Let's buy exotic fertile. Let's buy everything. I got really worried for a second when I saw I needed 79 billion to re-unlock celestial leaves, even though they're already kind of here. But then I realized we're already mining 27 billion of them. Basically, I have to clear the screen once. Okay, I got most of these upgrades done. So now while I'm waiting, I'm going to go help my neighbor with some platinum leaves. Because I'm kind of curious to see exactly what's going to happen once I do this. Were there always bees? I remember the frogs, but not the bees. I think part of these unique leaves are going to be the tool you use, because one of them references a rake. This one says, help your neighbor pick up some leaves, probably using my hands. I haven't used these tools in a while, but my neighbor's going to love it. And I never really appreciated just how well the tools work until I wasn't using them anymore. Look how much harder you'd have to work to do this. I've been here helping the neighbor for a little while now, and I'm not seeing any results yet, so I'm going to try one of the other areas. We are also at the point where we're able to spend $301 trillion on upgrades. The next one's 1.15a, so it'll be a little while, but not as long as you might think. And since I've been saving up Celestials for a while, I've increased the combo there a few times, so now our numbers are over a billion for the regular gold leaves, and the green leaves are I don't know how high, probably something ridiculous. And since my laser in space doesn't really seem to be doing much at this moment, Let's just go to where we can find the celestial leaves because we're going to need lots of those. Which is also going to involve buying every Roomba possible then filling it with every upgrade possible just to be able to hurt these. Not that that's unreasonable right now. We have basically billions if not trillions of anything. And there we go. I've got enough of these to kill at least the occasional leaf which is going to give us 3,000 leaves every time. That number will slowly get bigger and all the rest of them will get much bigger. Another type of leaf I do want a lot of are the bismuth leaves, which can be found here. I've got 7.9 trillion. I'm going to need a little more, but I've done some upgrades to them to hopefully get some more. I've also just collected a regular leaf seed and it gave me two point something A's. So that one seed alone was half the A's I found this entire time in one single seed. So we just need more of those. And that also means that I need to buy more leaf marketing. While I'm at it, I'm pretty sure I can spend 2.25A coins on this one and 2.25 on that one. I have enough left to get both of these one more time, but I'm still going to save coins because I don't know the best option yet. I just know the best way for me to get more uh, leaves are in the seeds. The leaves themselves are very valuable, but every time a seed drops, it can get me a thousand, a million times everything I have now. Because even now, all of a minute later, I'm up to 12.05 A's just from a few seeds on the ground, which means I can buy another upgrade, which means the next seed I find will be worth even more Then I can buy that one, then it's worth even more, and I can continually do that all until I'm all the way up to capital H. Also, let's increase our maximum combo here. So now we're getting bigger numbers than ever before, up to almost 4 billion green leaves per leaf. 
Just for fun, I spent some of my last remaining gems to get this. Didn't make a big difference, but it will jump me a little bit ahead, particularly with the green leaves. And even the gold leaves are into the A at this point, which has never been done before. Not by me. Which means we can buy a few combos. Let's get this one caught up, and then we're gonna buy a few of those. We have 1.14A left, so we're gonna buy this and then this. And just like that, every green leaf we're hoovering up is worth over 5 billion. Even the gold ones are well over 1 billion, almost 1.5 billion per leaf. And then look how many celestial leaves we have, 2.4 million. So the first thing I'm going to do is increase the ALB's damage because they need some help pretty badly. And make the enemies drop a little bit more. I don't want to spend too much money, but I do need to spend a little bit. Then the rest is going to go into the combos, and I'm just going to split it evenly between the two. And those few little upgrades by themselves pushed our green leaves over 6 billion per leaf now. Okay, we're going to change course again just a little bit because as fast as we're getting bismuth leaves, there's actually a different one that I need right now. And to get it, I need to be here at the base level, my own yard. And we need to keep collecting these green leaves until we have E, lowercase e of them. Actually, they still have a faster way to do this. All we need to do is go to the abyss, and then make sure we've mined 1 million exotic leaves. We have 60 trillion, spoiler alert. And then use a graphics card. Blow a few leaves over the edge, and there it is, our new unique leaf. Never before seen by me. We will eventually get this over the edge, it's very heavy. The trick was, all we needed was 1 million exotic leaves. Now we can have this and equip it. And it increases printer output by 5000%. Activate. So now it's printing out a lot of leaves. Like the basic leaves, pr prints and collects 1.76 million basic leaves a second. So I'm definitely going to put a few dollars into the bismuth leaf printer because we still need a lot of those. So now it's going to print 800,000 per second. Is that going to be enough to make a difference? We're dealing with such big numbers. I don't want to spend too many coins though, because we still need some. So even if you get this up to level 39, it's going to give you 4.5 million per second. Again, which sounds like a lot until you're realizing you're dealing with numbers this big. Since I've ruled out most of the, the options for what I should do with my coins, I think it's time I just get it over with and spend it on gold leaves and green leaves. One of each, which is going to leave us still with 766 trillion coins to spend. And that's giving us 7.7 .7 billion green leaves per leaf now. Whatever we're doing, it's working because I'm now up to 33.1 capital A. So I'm going to upgrade one more time. That way the next time I pick up a seed, it's worth even more. We're going to go from A to C to D to E to F all the way up to whatever I can. And while we're waiting just to keep it a little fresh, let's get some more of the celestial leaves. These leaves are definitely hard to get. I'm getting 8,000 per enemy killed, and I have a combo right now of 10,000 times. 10,000 times combo, and I get 8,000 leaves. Another upgrade to leaf marketing for only 100 capital A's. We're almost back to the D where we left off. I just jumped from 8 up to 23 capital A's, so a single C gave me 15 capital A's. That is a ridiculous amount of anything. I decided to let the leaves blow themselves for just a little while, and look at that, we're up to 3.15 D already. Which is good for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10 upgrades. 10 upgrades is huge. We're up to $11.37 billion per leaf. And that's before we upgrade the combo multiplier again, which we're going to do this many times. So, correction, we're up to 2 billion gold leaves per leaf and a little over 12 billion green leaves per leaf. Plus an extra combo coming in from the celestial leaves. So you know what, let's just call it an even 13 billion leaves per leaf. Not more than a few minutes later, we're up to 62 Ds, so that means more upgrades already. A few more before you know it, we'll be getting our new unique leaf and more leaves than ever before. We use the rocket engine. That should spawn another unique leaf, there it is. Simply because a physical device may help you reach the sky. That's the rocket. No, we just wait for this annoying leaf to get off my screen. And there it is. And guess what this one does? Increases seed rewards by 0.5%. And that's actually huge because 0.01% for things would cost me $304 trillion. And that number's going to get really big really fast. But we'll give that one a few anyways. I picked up a seed. I didn't get to see how much it was. But that's almost one full D so far. So every one of those upgrades is going to make a big, big difference. The upgrades are getting bigger and bigger. My last one was about 600 capital Ds, which means the next one should push us well into E and then bigger E's and then bigger E's and then whatever comes after E. And with that, we're officially back into E. 5.66 E and the next upgrade is only 9.5. And there it is. We finally crossed over 100 E's. Now, if we take those 100 E's, come to our own yard and use a basic leaf blower, guess what's going to happen? Eventually, we'll spawn a special leaf. 
Still haven't found the unique leaf I want, but while I'm waiting we're up to 62 A's for the gold leaves and 5.08 capital E's for the green leaves so we're certainly making progress everywhere else. And a good way to think about these letters is that to go from E to F you need to get a million times the amount. So 1 F is worth a million E's, 1 G is worth a million F's. And the very first letter, A, comes from 1000 trillions. Still, no unique leaf spawning, and that's kind of sad because I feel like that was going to be a pretty big help to me in my progress. I've also tried the leaf blower on every one of these levels looking for the unique leaf and it just doesn't seem to want to spawn, so I think my game is bugged. But the sad thing is, I'm out of time. Physically, it took so much time that that's it. But we'll settle on F, capital F. Behind this menacing little smile is a being of pure evil. So let's see what kind of weird stuff we can get up to today. We roll to the right, we collect stars, we hop when we need to. Oh, a puzzle game. Don't worry, I think I know how to solve this one. We got our stars. Moving along, we can hop over the bridge. Okay, the puzzles are starting to get harder already, but I'm pretty sure I can just move this over here and get a nice little hop. Don't worry, I see the answer for this. When we hop here, we hop here. Now I want to find someone to jump on. Collecting every little star along the way. Alright, this one's going to be a bit of a momentum game. But that's easy, we just hop here and then we hop way up there. And then we're good to go. Oh, an enemy. Can we kill him? Come here. Let, Let me, me smash, smash him. him. Got him. You look how happy we get when he murders something. So that's definitely going to be part of my strategy now, to murder everything I see. Just because I can... Oh, are we stuck? Nope, we're good. Oh, we get to play with sticks though too. Can balls swim? What happens if we go in here? Nope. I've always wanted to show you guys a game that's just about a ball rolling around and now is my opportunity. He's so happy every time he does that. I assume this has to go somewhere. Luckily I have a ball for the job. Okay, maybe that's not going to go anywhere. But we can probably hop right over it with a little momentum. And okay. So maybe we need to push it up the hill and let it roll down by itself. I would um, say that was all me, but there's really only one option at that point. We can't push it one direction, push it the other direction. Oh, this looks like a jump. And we got the star. Got him. As simple as this game is, I'm actually really enjoying this. But that might also be because I have a simple mind. Now I know there's a star up there. Yeah, okay, here's how we get that. We jump here, we jump here. Then we take a big running jump and then we land on Idiot. I'm really mostly just here for the homicide. They all need to die. Oh, it's going to get physics-y too. I... Definitely have a degree in physics, so I'm going to do well with this. Can I use this to crush him? It's so much heavier. Coming through. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Got him. I like the way he sounds when he pops. Rolling straight into the next level. Big jump. Okay, I feel like they're giving away the stars on this one. It was a cool jump and all, but we don't deserve that kind of star power. All right, well, you're going to get pushed into the water and drown. And then crushed. No, oh, never mind. Does that count as a homicide? I don't really know. This one's a bit of a time to jump though, but it's well within my capabilities, probably along with this one. I'm getting way too confident too quickly, but to be fair, I think it is a children's game. Oh, we got an aggressive guy. Nice armor, stupid. How'd that work out for you? This one's actually going to be a little bit annoying because I'm going to have to jump carefully. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. What do you think we're supposed to do with this? Are we supposed to bring it over here? I think we might have done that wrong. I might also be able to make that jump. We cannot make that jump. Great. Try with a little more speed. Oh, we did actually make that. I didn't think that was going to work, to be honest. And we're going for a ride. We don't really have a choice. Whoa, 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 oh. Oh, <laughs> I splattered that guy by accident, so that's fun. But what I really wanted was to get up there to get that star. So if we could bring that back. There we go. And I think I got to put this probably on top of there anyway, or at least I'm going to. And there we are. Puzzle solved, mission accomplished. On to the next homicide. There he is. Okay, that was a cheap shot. But we'll make sure he gets his. I just realized for the first time that I do actually have something of a health bar. And um, I'm pretty sure on this one we're going to have to tip it like that. Yeah, there we go. Now we're up top. Now we get to crush him. The controls are a little screwy. To my defense, it's a little bit hard to do it this way. Or at least that's... What I'll tell everyone, okay, is that going to collapse? Um, I think I have to go up top probably if I'm seeing that correctly because it's going to be a jump. Don't worry, I've got it from here. Okay, I will almost roll down into the water because I forgot it's bad again. Oh, I was supposed to use that for that, wasn't I? Well, I've got another idea. We can roll this way and grab it there. 
Not to worry, I am a professional. Wow, what a hard puzzle. Wasn't sure I was going to be able to solve that one. Hey stupid, come here for a sec. I want to try something. There he is. Yep, come on. Almost got me. Not. Okay. Oh, he didn't go over the edge. Maybe he can't go over the edge. Um, I feel like there's some kind of puzzle to be solved here. Maybe if I push this all the way down and did that work? That kind of worked. I think that'll hop right on there now. So there we go. And now I think I can actually push this and deliver it over the top. Because the cart's going to come to a stop at the box, isn't it? Yeah, see, there we go. It is a puzzle game after all. Oh, I already forgot how this puzzle worked, so I screwed it up. Sadistic red ball to the rescue. Okay, this time I'm not going to die. I'm going to maybe push this beyond the uh, windmill, and then I can ride the windmill to victory. Okay, this time I get it. It definitely auto jumps also when I like touch an edge. So in case you ever see me jump weirdly, that's not actually me doing it. Oh, oh, okay. I feel like we're not supposed to push that over yet now that it's teetering on the edge. Yeah, I feel like we're supposed to use a little bit of this. That's going to go, <laughs> yeah, something like that. He looks a little perturbed. Look at him. He knows he's doomed. Yeah, it's okay. I have confidence in, oh, I didn't know I could actually jump out of the air like that. I thought I was going to die. Okay, well, that worked out uh, decently well. And then we're going to curb stomp him. He's going to die. Then we just need to figure out how to get up there, which might actually be with the curve on the wall right here. Does that work? Nope, that doesn't work. Uh, I think we needed to bring that crate across because I don't think I can actually do it anymore. Well, good news, Red Ball. You get to die a horrible death. Okay, we're going to kill you. Then I've got to move this over to there with a little bit of speed, I think, so it clips in both sides. And we bring this across. But before going any further, he needs to die. Also, not really sure what this little piece is, but I'm a little bit curious about it. What do you think that's supposed to do? Does that open something? Is it supposed to launch me? Turns out I could just jump up there the entire time, so I didn't need to waste a bunch of time doing that. Oh, okay, those are tippy. I get it. Okay, we're gonna grab that one. You just gotta land nicely on them. And not sure what's going on here. Oh, that's not great. He doesn't look too bothered by this, though. Okay, not really sure. Oh, okay. You just had to jump nicely, that's all. Level 10. Oh, I missed the card. That's not great. Okay, feeling confident this time. Uh, can we get this party started or is this not allowed to roll anymore? Thank you. So we got that one and we missed. That's surprisingly hard to do. Got it that time. It wasn't pretty, but we did it. Okay, what does this guy want? You want to go swimming? Yeah, you want to go swimming. You enjoy your stay in the water. Now we'll put the crate there while we happily hop over your watery grave. Oh, that's a horrible crate. How do I... Yeah, as long as we're balanced, we're fine. And he's just going to stay there submerged for a while. So this guy, we're going to make follow us over here. We'll just kill him. Killing him's always easier. And we're going to jump right over him. Oh, we can't leave him alive, though. I just... I left one alive already. Whoops, too far. And that's too many left alive. To be fair, he is drowning slowly, probably, for the rest of his existence. But... We're good. Okay. I almost missed this star in the sky jump up there i still missed it um okay we'll probably just manage to time this i think this is what you're supposed to do anyway i just did it by accident oh this will be good this guy's going to die both of them great i like how that didn't actually serve a purpose it was just out there to kill them okay i might have mistimed that i feel like the platforms come to a rest for way too long down there i kind of wish i landed on him and killed him but that's okay we can move on to uh the cave dwelling moron Okay, he doesn't want to come out of his cave, so... Oh, okay. Well, I can kill him right here, then. Great. Then those two were easy to... Where's this thing going? Get over there. I don't know what you're for, but I feel like I need you. And... I'm gonna need you for more than that. Okay. So, you gotta go across quicker. Or, maybe more accurately, I've gotta stop myself right about here. Yes, clever! I have been called many things before, but not often clever. Oh, okay. I see. I've got to turn this thing if I want it to move. This is actually scary because these things fling me uh, very easy like that. Um, so, you know what? I'll just jump from here. Thanks. <laughs> Look at this lone idiot. He's just going to stand there like that when he's literally extremely vulnerable on his head. He's leaving himself completely exposed for me to murder him. If I just ride it right about here... wrong. Okay, we're gonna ride this one nice and tall then. Staying near the top, get a bit of momentum. Okay, we managed to jump to freedom. I've got an idea of 
something I'm gonna try before doing anything. I'm gonna grab that. Is this a post? Oh, I might have screwed this up then. I don't know if I can jump back up there. Oh, he's gonna come get me. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I wanna see if I can roll. This isn't gonna work. I wanted to use this basically to catapult myself somewhere over there. But if I can't get this on top of the board, that's not going to work anyways. But I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen now. They wouldn't put a big rock here for no reason. There's got to be some kind of fun idea with it. Or... Okay. Oh, I think I see where I needed it now. So we've got to push this uh, across the gap. Something like that. Oh, and then we can just crush him with the big rock anyways. Alright, murder rock. Full speed ahead. No mercy for that guy. Don't crush me though, please. And we get to murder him. And we get to murder him. Oh, well, collecting star. There's a boss. Well, don't worry. I know how to deal with you guys. Uh, not like that, though. The hitbox is a little wonky. Oh, he's tired. Can I only hit him when he's tired? Oh, okay. I think he's got a predictable pattern. Basically, don't touch him now. Touch him when he's out of breath, which is now. Oh, he's got a new movement pattern. He's dropping idiots. Kind of near me. Not that intimidating yet. Oh, he didn't do the thing. It spawns me in with his life still gone. They don't make the bosses very challenging. Well, now there's two idiots, but that's not saying much. Like, they're not overly difficult. Oh, armored idiots. Great. Okay, now he's hopping around. He got so tired at the beginning just from, like, being alive. Now he can do all this gymnastics without any issue. Hmm. It's still not too bad. Fairly predictable overall. Gotcha. Ow. Oh, it puts him back to half health. Well, that's fine. Uh, as long as he just gets tired now, I will take this a little more seriously so as to hurt him. All right, good news. You're about to die. Gotcha. New ball unlocked. What's wrong with my red ball? Um, excuse me? I think I unlocked a new ball. This is still the same red one. It's just in the forest now. This is a new area, not a new ball. But we get to play with logs now. I bet this guy likes logs. Do you like wood? Yeah, he likes wood. And level 1 done. Or level 16, I guess, because they don't restart. We're just in the woods now with giant mushrooms and ferns. Or regular sized stuff because I'm just in fact a tiny little ball. Not sure what the saw blades are doing here. I guess it's like a lumber mill that's built into the ground. They kind of reset the difficulty on these a bit too, because I'm flying through these levels. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm definitely pretty good at red ball. Oh, look at this fun thing. Oh, I thought it was going to spring me backwards. I take back my statement about that being a fun thing. It was really just a mechanism that was necessary and got him Ooh, what happens if wood meets a saw blade get down there we need to see what happens oh we're probably supposed to ride on that actually well never mind in hindsight i probably could have seen that coming but now we need to time it so that the wood goes beyond the uh saw blade and then we jump on it and jump over it uh oh that might have been too oh no i didn't mean to second jump oh actually this might be okay okay go quicker okay let me on though also Oh, I had way more time than I thought in the end. You? The game just shot me into him at the start of the level. Man, I'm struggling suddenly. Got it. Okay, we got the checkpoint. That's good. We're gonna get the stars. A pirate? You're confusing square. All right, let's kill you now. Oh, I missed the star. Okay, well, I guess it's time to kill myself because I can't miss any stars. What can I say? I'm a perfectionist at heart. Double jump? Karate kid. Oh, is he a karate guy? Well, he's a dead guy now, whatever the case. These two were a little bit trickier, but uh, nothing that's out of my lofty skill set. So, oh, there's a button up there. I never really saw that. So, oh, that actually lets us out anyway. This is going to be a fancy jump. Oh, I thought that was going to be a lot harder. I thought that thing would actually tip and stuff. Oh, did I just screw that up again? I've had to murder this red ball more than anything else just because I keep missing things. Every time I miss something, I have to punish him by drowning him to death. That was a precarious little jump I didn't get to record, but I managed to land on the idiot and we're good to go. Why does this one have a red light? Oh. So I've got to hold it for a sec, then it'll retract. Luckily, it gives you 10 minutes to do it, so that's okay. Um... So we're going to get you out of the way because I feel like we're going to have to push this that way and then over the top. So far, I was able to go right over the top. Okay, well, again, not the most complicated a puzzle, but it's the one we had to work with. What does that do? Oh, so we got to jump over the saw and um, we got to push that, then jump over the saw again. Then we can jump over the gap, hopefully. 
And we're good. Pretty sure these levels will eventually get probably pretty annoyingly hard. But for now, I'm just going to coast along and enjoy the ride. I struggle in any puzzle ever where you require patience because I just don't have it. Like this one, for example, is going to drive me nuts just because of what it is. Not because it's difficult, but... It's also stressful racing against time. I got an achievement for that. Okay, idiot. No one hits me and lives. Get over here. I think you're so special because you're able to jump slightly. Not sure. Oh, I can make that jump. Great. That one actually had me a little bit worried. I wasn't sure what to do. And we're good. Level 24 already. Oh, can we turn the saw on on them? Great. Oh, this is... Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. That's so much easier. I should just use the saw on enemies from now on. And a good time was had by all. I'll be taking my stars in. Moving on, dead guys. So, this is going to be annoying. Pretty sure I've got to go something like that. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. They actually give you way too much time on some of these. Oh, look at this guy. He's enjoying his swing. Got him. And we still have a few more levels to go, I presume, before the boss shows up again. Thank you. That's very helpful. Here's your reward for helping. And hop. And okay, we should look before leaping. Okay, we're going to do this one a little bit smarter. We're going to wait for it to start swinging back. Then try and collect all the nice stars along the way. Not like that, though. I'm a little more in control this time because I kind of understand what it is I'm looking for. Swing star. And then we'll get that one. Then we'll just wait for the thing to swing gracefully back. Okay, stupid is here. Jump. Got it. Now we finish him off without dying. Good to go. Level 27 basically fires you into the saws right away. And there are two of them, so we're definitely escalating in difficulty. Luckily, I am a professional at handling dolls. Oh, there's an endless supply of these guys. They just keep coming out of here. Then I kill you, and then you, and then you, and then you. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I could just sit here all day killing these things. Look how happy that makes my guy. Okay, now that I'm finally up top, I've got lots of time to time my jump, and we're good. Okay, you get on there, please, very quick. Then go there, then we go back for the star. This is actually easier than it seems. And I got an achievement for start. That was the whole level? I mean, that's fine. It was just very short. What does this do? Oh, you're one of those timed ones. Stop. Okay, you can go now. So, oh, this is very stressful. Okay, this level is definitely a little bit annoying already because you got to, like, set it up in advance and you can't catch a log. The log just leaves. Wait, am I overthinking this? I will say, so far, this is probably the hardest level I've encountered, though, but I think I've got this under control now. As long as that keeps going, we're going to jump the gap. Yeah, see? That's all it took. That was really annoying to set up, though. But now we have free stars and murder, my favorite combination. Uh, this also doesn't seem like a great deal of fun, but I think I understand how this is going to work. Basically, we touch that, and then we got to jump to that. Then we got to go way out there to that, and we're good. This is a long, difficult level. But he's going to die, and we're up top. Thanks, box. Yeah, we use him as a stepping stone. Boss time. Oh, it's a big karate idiot who gets tired from jumping up and down, but there's also a saw blade to deal with. So far, it's mostly just me jumping over the saw blade. He kind of jumps around once in a while. But so far, I'm not too intimidated because he mostly tires himself out. Then we jump over a saw blade. Or two of them. That makes it a little more interesting. I'm still not feeling overly worried. I feel like he's about to get tired out. We'll jump on his undercarriage. You know, he would really be more difficult to fight if he had like an unpredictable strategy, but he pretty much has the same routine again and again. I know exactly what he's about to do. Okay, he only gets tired for a second, uh, and then he kills me apparently. Is he about to get tired though? I never know when he's going to get tired. This is so confusing. But I assume right now, got him. Then I get hit though every time he does that. But I think one more hit and he'll be done. I'm just not entirely sure. I guess because we're at a different stage of the fight technically. There you go, big guy. Yeah, look how happy we are for murdering him. That place looks miserable, so we're going to get that next time. But I had a lot of fun murdering everything in this creepy dark game. We're back with our favoritest idiot in the world. You don't want to know what he just had to do. But we're not done with him yet. We need to make him go through a lot more. So let's upgrade his leg punch and his slash. Then before getting started, he gets a scary shield with a skull on it. That'll show the enemies. Then I'm just putting him right to work in the snowy forest. Where we get to fight Snowman. Finally, someone who's on his intellectual level. Uh, we're still wielding the legendary mace, so... We're 
we're not doing too bad against these guys. God love the damage. Kick. Should only have to kill about 10,000 of these before we're able to get some new loot again. But so far so good. I'm actually pretty surprised with our uh, progress so far. Usually there's a pretty steep level up after the bosses like this, but we're doing okay. No, there's four of them. What a waste of snow. Uh, they did also kill me, so I'm gonna have to use my abilities a little smarter now. Uh, cause if I let them stack up, turns out they will kill me. Smash and kick. I missed a kick. Really gotta be sure to time those better. And we're gonna activate the tumbleweed. Still not sure how I feel about that one. Hopefully I can level it up later. And yeah, suddenly the snowmen are being a lot stronger. I don't know what happened to them, but they're doing a lot more damage. Or it might just be because we're on stage 54 and they just inevitably have to get harder. Go tumbleweed, save me. I think we're about to die. Spinning the wheel, we only get a gray item, but it looks fancy. And it would cost $50,000 to buy. Uh, that's gonna give me 210 experience, plus now he looks like a prince. Not a good prince, but a prince nonetheless. And I think we'd probably better get him some more attack power because he's struggling without that. While we're at it, we'll get him the matching boots. And conveniently, since we have 50,000 left over, we're just gonna buy a shield, which is gonna add an extra 10 defense, which he needs. Well, now he has a big ass sword to hit snowmen with. Then we're gonna upgrade the tumbleweed ability and maybe just the cat's attack straight up for a little extra support. There we go. Now we're gonna hit him with the big sword, we'll kill them quicker, and we're just able to tank a lot more damage. Okay, let's try out the new tumbleweed ability. It's doing 60 per hit, so that's actually pretty good. I probably could sit in one area and just grind for a bit, but I feel like everything scales, so I could uh, grind this for like two hours, but I'm really only going to get a bit of progress because the next area is going to be so much more expensive that I need the earnings from that next area to make it worthwhile. Look at all these guys though. These ones are definitely hurting though. The snowmen do a lot of damage, so I really got to take out the clusters. Perfect. They're all bunched up nicely for me. We're going to use a few different abilities to try and just get rid of them quickly. Same with these guys. We just need them to die. I can't take too many hits, but this might actually be a balance. I uh, respawn health as fast as they hurt me. And I mean, they don't have legs. You think I just walk behind them and they can't hurt me anymore. I did also just get a double damage bubble. So that should hopefully carry me through uh, all of this. So, ooh, this will be a good one. Slam. We're going to use the cat's claws and we're going to kick them. Yeah, we just <laughs> tore through those. I wish I had double damage always. This is the last cluster of idiots. So we're going to sort most of them to death and they're dead. Now we can start on 55 at least. Plus, I'm getting some good money and experience. Oh, it's a boss already. No, that's just a regular enemy who's tough. It's not a boss. Rabbits can't be bosses, especially when they're that weak. We're definitely going to need some upgrades, though, because I'd wager they do a lot of damage. Yep, they're taking some good bites out of my health. But don't worry, we've got a tumbleweed ability. You know, if I leveled those up just a little bit, I think the cat would actually be a huge help to me. Oh, and here's a super speed thing. So now I might actually be able to charge through close to level 60. Uh, I think they're still going to be able to kill me just because they do so much damage. But we'll see. This is a really big cluster of idiots. Uh, even on double speed, it's take a second to get through. We made it to 59, but I'm not actually super optimistic about this. Let's try that again with a kick to hopefully hit them all. We took out the rabbit right away. But this is intimidating, especially when they're that spread out. I don't think I can hit them all at once even if I tried. But coming into the last fight, I do have all of my abilities ready. So we'll hopefully be able to use those to carry us through. Go kitty claws. Uh-oh. We're dead. And from our spinny wheel, we got a new helmet, uh, which is probably going to replace our wolf helmet now. Despite the fact that it is legendary, um, it's probably going to be better. We get regeneration and crit anyway. We're going to get a little bit less experience and loot, but I need to keep upgrading things. Plus, I feel like we fell way behind on helmets. Next, I think I'm probably actually just going to increase a cat's attack two times and then do the claws once and then maybe give us better slash power. Okay, and here's a red sword to match. That takes literally all my money just to buy it, but that's probably worth it. I can actually buy the next helmet if I want to for only 25,000. Yeah, let's do that now. I want to get the helmets all caught up. Well, at least I don't have to look at his face anymore. Oh, and we have our fireball ability. What does this do? Oh, that's going to be a good one. And the cat is doing tons of damage too, so this will go a lot better. I spent millions of dollars on my armor for myself. I haven't spent anything on buying armor for the cat. We just let him go. Does the fireball hit everything? Fireball? There it is. Yep, that's a good one. And the cat claws attack is much better too now. So it's going to do 70 damage instead of like the 20 it did before. I've almost got too many choices now. I hardly know what to use. This will be good for fireball, blades, maybe a kick too while we're at it. Just to blast through everything. Then the cat claws. Yeah, that was a big group to just annihilate. We leveled up, rolling into 59. Uh, let's let the fireballs come down for a sec. See what kind of damage they're going to do. Then probably just do some kitty claws to chew up the rest of them. Then for a single snowman, we're probably actually going to regenerate health. So it's worth it to just sit there 
here, you guys were definitely going to give you with a double. Yep. All these abilities are nice. We almost always have something ready to go now, which is bigly helpful. Why are you attacking back there? I've really got to do better to pay more attention to that. Ooh, double coins. That's one of my favorites because that buys us the good upgrades. Even stage 59 was pretty close. I do really want to clear through this one though. So let's hopefully I can do a lot of damage. I should upgrade that meteor because that would be really strong because it hits everything. Pretty sure I'm pretty boned here though. We just one shot at the snowman, but there's five of them. Four of them now, but they do too much damage. We can't survive. This is going to be a legendary, a legendary sword. Let's take a look. It's going to give me 20% experience, 20% loot, and 20 extra damage. Look at it. Now we just got to figure out what we want to buy. So we're going to look for anything that has a fun effect. Well, the helmet's still the cheapest. For, it's probably going to get us the most bang for the buck, so to speak, and then some boots. Uh, let's upgrade the fireball ability and then put ourselves back to work with our legendary sword. So we're going to get all sorts of loot and goodies from that. It's so easy here fighting one idiot at a time. Like it's not even a struggle. Let's try the new fireball. That's cool. 100 damage per shot and it hits everything. It might be worth it if I get some experience boosting items to just run this again and again to level up all of our skills. Oh, do I never had two boosts at the same time. We get double money and double speed. So let's see how many of these. We want to kill everything in a hurry for that money boost. This would be good earnings. Okay, we're going to hit it with everything. Everything in God just keep going. That's it. Tumbleweed away got him. I did this level up again. We're gonna go like that. I wish that hit more. Now we gotta use a kick to kind of blast through that or we're gonna lose too much health. I hate snowmen, both in real life and this game. Okay, the tumbleweed's gonna help take them out before we lose too much health. But now we're left with basically kitty claws to get this fight started, which did soften them up a bit. I'm not gonna waste a kick here though. I think we can probably tank through this one. Okay, now we're gonna sword and then we're gonna kick should have stepped forward before i kicked but we're gonna be okay stage 60 this is the one we need to clear so we're gonna hit it with two area of effect and i get double money right now too so once he kills him i'm gonna step in then use the sword like this there we go that kind of worked okay we're gonna kick all these man the levels get so hard suddenly once you hit 60 this is like five times as hard as the last level because I'm going to die again. Well, actually, he's going to die. I'm going to be perfectly fine. Now it's giving us two snowmen. Okay. The waves are getting easier as they go. We might... Well, we won't be okay with this. This is too much for us to deal with. Closer than I thought, though. Go, Tumbleweed. No, nope, save me, Tumbleweed. We got another helmet again. Got to protect that precious brain of his. Don't know what he'd do without it. Basically an extra three regeneration, which probably makes a pretty big difference. I think maybe a better shield to get him more defense is going to help in a big way. Then honestly, I'm going to buy him another helmet just to get him even better regeneration. I need our health coming back quick. <laughs> this looks so fun. Okay, and then after selling all that, I can afford new boots. So he's going to get new boots for extra HP. That should be enough to carry us through. Okay, then I'm going to upgrade fireball a few times because i feel like that's just gonna be good and then we're gonna give him a little more hp i feel like at some point that's gonna start jumping up by a bigger amount back into battle he goes the enemies are probably very confused every time they see him he has a new outfit and there is double money what's the fireball doing now 140 per hit so far this is much easier we're back on stage 59 and uh my health is pretty well full that regeneration definitely helps plus the extra damage doesn't hurt either because we can just melt everything right now we'll let the fireballs down on these guys and we'll use the kitty claws then we'll get double damage anyway so we'll definitely get through the next stage double damage is about to run out though so let's see if we can cluster through these guys the critical hit was nice i wish we could do more of those and we got a double attack speed, so that probably also saved us again. Because even with all the upgrades, I don't know if we would have been able to get through this without dying. A uh, bear? Okay. Oh, that's okay. There's more. We're now fighters of bears. The bears are definitely a little bit tanky. I don't know if they do a ton of damage. I don't know if I've even been hit by one yet. This one might do it though. Okay, the bears. Oh, there it is. Yeah, actually that did take a big bite. If there was a few bears, we might be in trouble. Okay, here's two bears. Let's go ahead and kill these like yesterday. Yeah, the two of them hit me at the same time. That's a big ouch. Mm, that just tells me we need more damage though. I did this find double coins. So at the very least, we're going to get rich off this. Okay, get the bear, kill him. Go tumbleweed, kill that bear. No, he hit us anyway. I think I have to need to upgrade my kick and chop as well. More critical damage would also be good, but I my kick and uh, chop are falling behind the damage scale. Like that's not doing nearly enough to these guys. But we might actually be able to get through 65 suddenly, so that would be okay by me. That's a lot of snowmen. 
and they do do a lot of damage when they stack up but we're gonna take them out one at a time there we go we can heal through one then there's a snowman and a bear the bears attack so slowly they're really not that bad i think my regeneration can carry me through that okay then i think there's actually three bears hiding back there so we're gonna hit them with everything we've got to eliminate them before they're a problem and 65 is done now we're starting to hit things like this where it's just straight up two bears so this is going to be a struggle we've plowed on to stage 68 so far and i'm really impressed i thought we were going to lose on like 64 so clearly i'm a little stronger than i think but i'm definitely getting some good experience and i'm sure the money's going to be pretty good too uh at the edge of 68 i died but i did have a gem to spin so hopefully that's a free legendary which it won't be but a rare. And for the second spin, I also have five upgrade points and $110,000 to spend. This will be a gray item, but that's still free. So the helmet gives me even more health regeneration and the shield does an extra 20 defense, which is huge and 10% crit. Uh, so I'm going to buy some armor because the armor is falling behind. We need a helmet and boots as well. That's going to give me a nice extra 100 HP. And I hate to say it, but I probably should buy this sword. That's going to give me an extra 30 attack. That's enough to overcome the stats of my legendary. Because that gives me an experience in loot, but I need damage more than anything. Now for skills. Leg punch is going up that high. Slash is going up that high. And then I'm going to put a little more into probably crit chance for myself. Why is he wearing a belly shirt? That's not very good armor. What if he gets stabbed in the stomach or arms or neck well i guess that's his problem i won't miss him very much and our sword attack should do quite a bit more yep i'm liking how that's feeling uh we'll fireball these are too far apart to bother kicking yeah we're doing much more damage this is much easier yeah those few little upgrades were enough to just tip our damage up i should probably also be making a cat stronger too i feel like he fell behind a while ago but i've been having so much fun just upgrading my idiot this is a good one for fireball 140 damage to all of them. That was thousands of damage. I don't even know where I'm going or why. I'm just going through the wilderness committing genocide. Moving on to stage 69. It's really annoying when they separate like that. It's so hard to get that damage to him when he could be hitting me that whole time. But look at our health though. Look how strong we are now. That barely even hurt us. Okay, Kitty Claws, do your thing. Uh... These guys are punched up enough, I can probably get away with that. And then we send in the uh, Tumbleweed Cat, which really isn't doing much damage anymore. Really got to upgrade that thing. On to stage 70, and this really could be a good test of how strong I am. So once I find my uh, double attack, uh, that makes things a little bit easier. There's 70 done, so that's our next checkpoint. Now we got two bears that I'm just going to go like that and stab. Oh, they're so meanly uh, spaced out. It's so hard to get proper damage on them like that. And again, with the annoying spacing, but the fireballs can hit most of them at least and we just leveled up again so more upgrade points for us the damage is definitely pouring on pretty strong now those bears are starting to add up and our health regeneration can't get through all this i did get double money though so i would at least like to survive that long so i can buy all the good stuff at the store and we're gonna send the cat food to take care of these guys just a little bit kick them in the face there was three bears here they're defeated by a kitty cat they're not real bears at all oh you're not actually a bear i thought it was a bear but he was hiding behind them i've just realized my sword is doing 360 damage my sword attack is doing like 450 so the sword by itself is doing plenty so in combination with some other area of effect attacks we're usually able to win the battle okay i think we're gonna get through 74 unless these three idiots can manage to defeat us which spoiler alert they won't and i think that's going to bring us to a boss yay a blue ogre thing i don't really know what to hit you with yeah i gotta remember this time to use my attacks when i'm close to um don't know if we're going to win this or not because I'm on recharge now and he's hitting with a lot of damage. Cool, we might actually win this. If I can get all my things off of recharge, I think we can actually do this. Even if we don't, actually, it's, oh, I missed timed that. Shouldn't have done that, but that's okay because I think we got him. I'll see you in a minute. I need to buy like one thing from this shop. First things first, let's hopefully get a new legendary. Mm, that's okay, we did get a very expensive shield. And... An even better shield. Look at how boring our items are. I need more legendaries again. So we're definitely going to buy... Wow, that's going to give me an extra 50 attack. That's stupid amounts of damage. Then we're going to take another 190 health from the armor. And another 3 regeneration from the $200,000 helmet. Then we just gotta upgrade this guy. Let's give both the cat and myself more attack. I think they're doing a lot now just with their base attacks and that's gonna be a big difference. Oh, it's a curvy sword too. Curved swords. So just by themselves they're able to kind of, yeah, take care of the bears without too much issue, at least this early on. Curved swords. And my sword has me doing 420 damage now. So it's only worth it to use uh, the uh, other attacks when I have an area of enemies, because this is higher DPS singularly. But here I can fire the fireball down and swing my sword anyway, so that's just to everyone's benefit. 
Except for maybe the snowman. They historically don't fare well against fireballs. So we should be able to make it back to the boss with little issue because we're actually a lot stronger than we were in our last little run. Even big clusters of enemies, well, I don't know if you could even see those, but there was quite a cluster of them. We killed them, we still have 95% of our health. Uh, is a tumbleweed even worth it anymore? Not really, it's only doing 60 damage per hit. I guess it is attacking all of them though. And we're back to the boss fight, so let's hit him with some fireballs. I don't even know if it's worth to use any of these skills. I feel like we do more damage as it is anyway. Oh, this will save us for sure. Double attack speed. If only it was always this easy. I'm going to kick you to kill you just for fun. I know I've said this before, but I kind of would like a legendary. So game, if you're listening, give me one. A rare, probably not too bad. Golden boots. He's already wearing golden boots. These are the same. They just give 30% extra loot. So I'm not really going to complain. But we're going to buy a better sword for an extra 50 attack. A lot of the stuff I can buy seems to be as good as what I already have, so I might be actually close to maxing out my stuff. There's an extra 300 uh, defense, HP, and an extra 50 attack for a golden knight, except for his helmet. Okay, as for what to upgrade now, critical chats. We're making stomping sounds when we run now, I guess because we're in the castle. So my golden idiot charges into battle. That extra damage is nice though, 470 per hit so far. It's still going to get better from here. I don't even have to use my abilities anymore with this kind of damage. I still will just for the area effect, but when it's 1v1. Wow, those things hit hard. Didn't realize they were doing so much damage to me. So these are just the basic idiots and they're doing this much damage. Wow, they actually killed me. This won't do it all. Nobody kills me. But our item is a gray one. Ooh, a green dress. It's worth $500,000 if I were to sell it. All right, what else? We look at all this fun looking stuff. 1.3 million for that. We can't afford that. I do want a better sword though. And better defense. Then we're going to take better boots for more HP. That way things don't kill me instantly. I want more critical chance. Then this might go slightly better. Every time I get hit by one of these though, it's pretty painful. I just realized our sword is broken. It's the highest damage sword you've ever had by a mile, but it's broken. Anyways, as long as I'm paying attention, we'll be just fine. Plus, I just got a double damage thing, so as long as I don't get stabbed too many times, we should hopefully make it through a couple stages. These guys we're going to hit with everything we got. Don't let them attack me. So much experience too. We're leveling up like instantly from these idiots. This is pretty intimidating also. But we got them dead. They took off half our health though. So it might be a little bit of grinding to get past these guys. Even with this newly upgraded gear, we're still about dead. We made it not very far. Luckily we do get lots of experience. I could also just intentionally die again and again and get free loot from here, which is kind of a fun strategy. Because even if it's just giving me gray items, that's still 100 uh, extra HP and I can sell them for 550,000. So I'm going to put him back to his uh, stick and nakedness and um, we're just going to go straight back into battle. I can literally get a free item every time I go back to the shop. So I'm going to instantly die and I get a free item now. And I think it might be based on what I have equipped actually. Nope, it's just based on I guess whatever I have in my inventory. So we have one of those now so we can sell one of those without ever using it and we do it again. We run in, get stabbed in the stomach and more items and eventually this way this should lead to some legendaries and stuff naturally um but it's pretty long odds to start so we just got a helmet that gives us 48 overall regeneration so we can sell the old one and what i'm going to do right now since i have 1.3 million is actually buy a better sword that way if we roll one it's going to be even better uh, and then we're going to buy a better shield same principle applies and i'm too poor to buy anything anyway so we're just going to continually get better gear using my little trick i think i've maxed out everything there's no better versions of anything except for the rare and legendary so that gear is going to take us from this to this <laughs> and i even found a legendary sword in the last roll so I feel like our gear has put us a little bit ahead of the curve because we've been grinding that for a while. I'm thinking I could probably actually just sit here and um, watch him go through all the levels from here to the end of the game. We might end up unlocking more loot as stages go on, but we're definitely maxed out for now. Look at how many there are. There was five to start. They're still able to actually hurt me quite a bit. We're gonna get double damage, but the health regenerates fast because this gear is super powered. And there's like a werewolf or something now. We can't even one-shot him. Things are getting stronger. It's a... A werewolf with a chastity belt. An executioner. That's pretty much what I am. But I just sentence everyone to death. I feel like I need more critical hits though. Like I'm doing a ton of them, but I want them to all be red text. I've got a double damage now, so my regular hits are doing 2300 damage. And if I do a crit, I guess it's just a regular crit. That's still a lot of damage. And so far, this gear has carried me all the way to level 91. No problem. Stage 100. I believe this is the final boss. And we're just chunking him away with our sword. I don't think I even need to use abilities anymore. Uh, okay, he popped. We must have hit a crit. 
our gear carried us all the way from like 75 to here. I didn't even do a thing. Still wouldn't say no to more legendaries though. I just don't know if I have the time to roll for them endlessly. I do have 34 million dollars and 21 upgrade points though. So I boosted my critical chance to 24% and then it started us on floor 86 for some reason. I just wanted to see all the red critical hits. Basically one in four hits is going to be a crit. So far our uh, odds are not that great. Either way we were overpowered before now we're even more so. On to the next one. The name of the game, eat smaller stuff, avoid bigger stuff. Sound familiar? I want to eat people. And to start out, I believe we're a little itty bitty cat, avoiding cockroaches eating green circles. Probably somewhere in France because that's a croissant and I do like croissants. I accidentally rammed a cockroach and we can actually eat those now and I like cockroaches almost as much as croissants. I'm probably going to avoid the big mice for now at least until I'm bigger than that. Whoop. I just realized I'm not entirely sure I'm a cat but look at this thing. If your cat looks like that, put it right back in the dumpster where you found it. Or if you're feeling generous, send it to rehab it needs it. I'm officially five centimeters, two inches, and I can eat the mice, which is something cats do. Is this how cats work in real life? Like the more they eat, the bigger they get, and they just keep eating until nothing's left? Oh, okay, we're zoomed out now. Now I eat mostly mice, and there's baguettes and knives lying around. Ooh, and wine. Don't touch the knives, those hurt you. These are things most adults already know, but I don't really count as a real adult. There's no more cockroaches, but there's a lot of mice, and I can't wait to see what we're eating next. We're up to 10 centimeters, that's 4 inches. I can eat croissants now, there were 13 centimeters, and I think I ate a knife, believe it or not. Can we try that? We can eat knives. We're a cat that eats knives. I'm not going to question that too much. I'm just going to continue eating everything I can and the wine bottle. We're making progress. A person? I'm eating baguettes, knives, wine bottles, and there's people running around. Oh, I can't wait to see what we're able to eat next. This is how you handle quarantine. You just eat absolutely everything that's lying around, whether it's edible or not. These guys should be paying me. I'm cleaning up their restaurant. They have a lot of crap lying around for somewhere that's supposed to be fancy. Wait, watch this. I can eat the waiters. Uh, not the customers though, but the waiters are obviously less valuable than customers. Everyone knows that. Come here. You're not faster than me. Interesting that no one seems to care what's going on. There's a cat running around eating literally everything and business as usual. Not even the chairs are safe now. Oh, I still want to eat the blue shirt lady, but oh, there we go. About time. What are we up to? 50 centimeters now. I really just wanted to play a game where I can eat people. So there we go. Oh, we're done. I thought we'd get bigger than that we get a star? Okay, that's okay. I guess we didn't eat enough stuff. Okay, now we're eating, I don't know, squids on the streets. I'm not sure what these are, but we're just going to eat these. We've moved outside. We kept our size. We've just moved outside for bigger foods. I think they're poodles and we can eat people now. We're eating people and poodles on the streets of France. It's all I ever wanted out of life. Not a particularly intricate strategy for this one so far. Just touching whatever I can in the hopes that I can hurt it more than it can hurt me. I think I can eat these guys now. These are, I guess, not tourists. Yeah, these are cyclists, so they're worth more. Tourists, not as valuable. I'm already up to 95 centimeters. That might make me about the biggest cat in the world at this point. Given that I'm eating people, I could probably, yeah, I could probably have that claim. I just never realized eating people would actually be so much fun. Oh, I can eat the trees now too. Colorful, they're like ice cream, but leafier. I'm kind of curious now. If someone out there has a cat that's a meter and a half long, can it really eat bushes and people? And we're back inside. I don't want to be a small cat though. I want to be a giant cat that eats people. All right, well, we're back to people eating size now. Apparently if your cat is above 40 centimeters, people can be eaten. I personally would be pretty alarmed if there's a giant cat running around eating people, but no one seems to care. Is this how France is? We're moving on to chairs. Oh, there we go. Now we can get everything. Yeah, we're just going to rampage through. That's kind of satisfying. I'd like to request that all people just start walking directly toward me now to saving me the time. Wow, we're getting big. 1.5 meters? Stones really make the growth go. This cat is getting out of control. 2.3 meters. I'm not even eating people anymore. I'm just eating everything I can touch. What about these big tables over here? Chair. Yep. Everything. Oh, four people at once. Still not a star? I don't get how to do that. Right back on the streets to build my way back up. I just realized what happens if I wiggle my mouse around. I go like this. And the cat just goes crazy. And no, that's not at all useful. It just looks kind of fun. And we're back to eating tables and trees. I'm eyeballing those cars pretty hard, though it's only a matter of time before I can get those. Oh, the big trees too. What's on the other side of the road? More edibles. Oh, okay, we're getting big on this stuff. Great. I can't yet eat the cars, but I can push them around pretty good. And that's a start. Wait a second. In, I'm back to eating cars. Not back to it, but I'm starting to eat cars. So that's fun. 3.39 meter cat eats cars, which, you know, I guess if you're 10, 12 foot cat, somehow you're eating automobiles and awnings and probably these trees by now too. Nope, still not the trees. Of course not. That's just not logical. Here we go. Not even the trees are safe now. And look how fast I get. This city is doomed. 
given that there's a giant cat running around eating everything, including trees. Yeah, or they're in trouble. I don't know why this is so satisfying, but I'm having a lot of fun. We're up to 12.5, 12.7 meters. Now we're even eating buildings? Yeah, we're eating entire buildings. We're a 50 foot cat. It always stops me before I get to the really good stuff. Oh, it's going to make me think now. I don't want to think. Okay, eat brown, no colors. Got it. And it's turned us loose here. There's people running all over the roads. I'm just saving them from running into traffic, really. The best way to stop people from getting hit by cars is eating them. I've always said that. And to stop them from dealing with confusing roundabouts. Can I eat the cars yet? I'm getting tired of touching tourists. Why did that one hurt me? Okay, I need to get bigger. Guys, get in my mouth. I think we're into cars now. Yep, we sure are. I'm going to enjoy this roundabout. There's going to be a lot of cars to eat. Lots of protein in those too. And the trees. Always love the trees. I just love their colorful poof. Pretty soon I'll be so big I'm sure I'll escape my roundabout. And I did, it's just sending me on to bigger levels. This one's called a tour de baguette because I just need to go around collecting croissants. Because obviously. Okay, I'm finally big enough that I don't need to follow the rules anymore. Follow the road. I can just eat all the baguettes I want and I choose to because baguettes are delicious. If you don't agree with me, well, you're wrong. Flat out, you're wrong. And finally, we're back to being big enough to eat people. They're going to be a little bit hard to find now that the course is gone though. So I'm just going to wander around and eat them as they show up. Which moves us into this level. But we're big enough to start to eat people because a 60 centimeter cat can eat a full grown adult one bite. And bush. This cat definitely eats bush. Uh, apparently the police finally want to do something about the giant cat rampaging around but i have a boost with space bar so i can move even quicker i can eat stuff faster and also get into danger quicker perfect and apparently the cops just lose track of me once they're 100 feet away very hard to find a giant cat eating people a foreign restaurant chain is buying up all the local restaurants i don't know how this is our problem or what this has to do with anything but i'm willing to help red awnings it is don't touch any other colors. Very challenging for my mighty brain. What if red cars count too? Can I have a red car? Oh, there's a black car. Pretty sure that just hurts. Yep, that hurt my score. And what does this score matter? Well, let me tell you. I have no idea. Whoops, didn't mean to touch a yellow awning. I'm screwing this up. I have to eat red awnings and I'm screwing it up. There we go, and we're done. Somehow that ever was worth a star, and I ate like 90% of the wrong stuff. There's an outbreak of zombieism. Eat the zombies to save the city. I want to eat the city. I don't want to save it. I'll eat whatever I damn want, please. Which ones are I supposed to be eating? These? Zombies? Okay, eat the zombies. Don't eat the, you know, other stuff. I would just like to point out they're very hard to tell apart, so I'm just going to continue eating mostly whatever I happen to be close to. Oh, that was a person. That's fine. Oh, that was a person. Don't the innocent people just like form a circle in the center or something? That way stop eating you. It's very hard to know what to eat when you're all dispersed and intermingled like this. Level, ah, uh, I hate just a few too many innocent people. Accidentally, of course. You're going to make me start all the way again from the one centimeter cat. Fine. I'm just going to go turbo speed the whole time though. You'll see. The little green circles are peas, by the way. I was curious as to what they were and I looked in the upper left and they're peas. I can eat cockroaches now though too, but it all starts with peas. And we're moving on to mice at very high speed. I'm not letting go of space bar because this is all a time thing. The faster I do, the more points I get. And we're big enough to eat knives somehow. Croissants, you know the drill. Pretty soon wine bottles. Yep, there it is. Knives, croissants, wine bottles. Balanced meal. And we're big enough to eat the waiters. No one's going to miss them. And we're back to chairs, which means the blue people are not far behind. There we are. Why do people keep going to the restaurant where the giant cat eats everyone? Oh, I can go out the door. Okay, cool. I'm not done yet. Give me everything. I want to eat everything and everyone. Making progress. Eating the poofy trees. People. Awnings. Can't do cars yet, but it's only a matter of time. Give me everything. Yep, all that. Good stuff. Good. You get big so quick once you really start getting the bigger stuff. And cars are on the table. I think I need to be three meters before I can eat cars, but boy, I'm gonna take advantage of this. Cars make me grow so quick. I'm three and a half meters already. Oh, and awnings too. We're over four meters. I like how now colors don't matter. Everything's the same amount of edible. No one's more important than anyone else. Everyone dies equally. Oh, this is going to be good. Watch this. Poof. And everything's dead. Pretty soon we'll eat the whole buildings too. Paris is not going to be the same after this. There we go. Buildings and everything. We're up to 20 meters. Ooh, okay. Here we go. I might have to slow it down so I can see what I'm doing again. Ooh, big poofs of trees. We're up to 33 meters. Can't eat these buildings, though. They must be too big. That's okay. We'll just eat little buildings for now. We'll work our way up to the big ones, like any good cat would. Oh, can't do those. There we are. 40 meters. And even the big buildings aren't safe now. So, yeah, we're just going to zoom around and eating as much as we can. 104 meters. Oh, is that the river? Where's the Eiffel Tower? Oh, I just ate the Eiffel Tower. That feels good. We need to get bigger and bigger. 150 meters or a 500 foot cat. Still not really sure what it is I'm actually supposed to be doing here. There we go. Now we can eat, I guess, basically the whole city. 300 meters, 400 meters. I think we max out maybe a 500 meters, maybe a thousand. A thousand meters for a one kilometer cat. Oh, this is getting fun. We're real big now. Is this uh, actually what Paris looks like? 
It's nice, I've always wanted to go. We're 1.03 kilometers, reading city blocks and neighborhoods all at once. Oh, okay, I guess that's it. Cat world complete. One and a half stars though, that's pretty good. I'm good at this. Okay, so we can also be an octopus, then a mouse, then a bumblebee, then a shark, then a fox, then a penguin, then a, you know, him. I know what you're thinking. This is a pretty weird game. Well, you just watched a cat eat an entire city. As strange as this sounds, I'm a little bit curious to see what this is. An octopus that's mad about the garbage. Okay, so it's all just laid out a little bit differently. We're eating garbage this time. Well, we're eating real garbage instead of human garbage. And there's fish and even a surface of water we can jump right out of. This is going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to get to it.